And we have uh, we have uh, Otto. 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 Otto Where's George? George? Uh, I once hey. again I I left him at home. Sorry. No, it's time He's to ditching George at home these yeah. days. That's good. It's time to kick that punk to the curb. I know. I'm doing a single. Yeah, yeah. it's radio. Right. Yeah. Thank what do you play? Otto, is it we, we, oh, Caroline's tonight Caroline's here in tonight. New York City. And it's, it's an ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Nice. I have a little skit tonight at Caroline's. You can follow Don King. A two one two. Skit. Horrible. <laughs> Hold on. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. You're doing yeah. like an interesting thing. You're hosting, and like it's kind of like your show, and you you put on other comedians like Rick Shapiro. Otto and George presents a night of stand up, all kinds of different if characters. It's, if it's titled that, I'm gonna bite your face. Really? <laughs> yeah. Otto and George presents yeah. colon. Um, who's, <laughs> who's on the show with you? Shapiro. Shapiro. Oh, that big Jake Okerson. Oh, Johnny, oh, yeah, yeah, big J, big J. Johnny funny. O, and then some guy named Shuli or something like that. Shuli, okay, Shuli's a uh, guy that Stern's uh, yeah, the, board. He's yeah, a good guy. guy. All right, yeah. cool. Tonight at Caroline's, ten o'clock with Otto and George. Yeah, you were man. listening to the Don King interview. That was, it was a great interview. It was fun to listen to, huh? Yeah. Look, we're all pumped. Yeah. yeah. And I was nervous, man. I'll be honest. We try to be honest with this radio show. We we meet a lot of famous people. Yeah. For the most part, it's it's cool, but you're yeah. not nervous. He walked in. I'm like, how about I? How about I? How about I? I didn't know what mic to turn on all of a sudden. He's an intimidating guy. Yes. You know? Because you know who he sat with. It's like when you watch when we were king, he as comfortable as he was just talking to us, he was that comfortable talking to Ali and Foreman. I know. The most it, famous man on he's, the planet. He, he's, yeah. a, he's a guy who's not intimidated. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like so you, you kind of know that you're dealing with a guy who's, what, what are you going to do? Wow. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah, really. Look, what, does guy. he manage boxes or he just promotes? Promote. Them? He's a promoter, man. Really? He's just a, he's a talking machine. He wow. can promote anything. He Gets made me there. want to see that yeah. fight, and I don't know who these guys are, <laughs> really? and I want to see the fight. Yeah, I want to listen to this radio show after he promoted it like that. <laughs> I know, boy, people are gonna be let down. <laughs> right. Keep it real. If he had heard this show before he came here today, he never would have done. Oh, that. never would have come in here. Destroyed his reputation. He'd talk us all up, and people will listen. And it's a snooze fest. I want to see him go to Cleveland and promote that awful Maxwell show. <laughs> oh God! And the man doesn't even talk in his real voice. This Maxwell, he has a funny sidekick. <laughs> and punt. And punt. What is that? that uh, awful Cleveland oh, guy with crack in his. Uh, it's a catchphrase. He's got it on a T-shirt. I, uh, Pat Sows in radio. That was. Funny. Oh, they're just <laughs> all every. You guys know. You guys go on the radio tours and you sit down in front of these well, these pigs. Well, <laughs> I was ready to curse, and then I looked yeah. at the clock. I, I can't speak for every fat guy out there. Yeah. But I can tell you, as far as radio go goes and fat guys go, mm -hmm. they're like filling up an emptiness and insecurity. Yeah. Yeah. Most radio guys really insecure. And Use they, drugs, and they, and they for the love of God. They feed yeah. that <laughs> emptiness with donuts and, and just uh, overdo it with the booze. <laughs> you can't be seen on the radio. You don't have to be in a abysmal sight in real life, you know? <laughs> Goddamn blimps. Yeah. Just sitting there. It's like you don't have to comb your hair if you're on the radio. That doesn't mean you shouldn't comb your hair. Packing so their walking. faces. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Getting hookers and pornography. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but at least fun. you you address that. These guys are hiding behind all their all their uh, issues. I got to say, Kenny Michaels is a great driver. We were we were Ooh. making some time from the Lincoln Tunnel to here because yeah. we thought we were going to be late, and he was really making some moves. I felt like I should be shooting at the car behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pat his shoulder and say, "Nice work, Lou"? Yeah. <laughs> nice work, Lou. <laughs> we we going to Jersey? Uh, maybe. maybe. Right. I love the explanation uh, McCluskey gives for shattering his jaw. I'm a little right. too old for my job. I'm cranky. Yeah, I'm, I'm cranky. Right. Sorry, I cracked you in the face as hard as I can. They, All right. Get out of here. The hand motion. Pissed off. Circular hand Nothing motion. better than a pissed McCluskey. Yeah. By the way, we got to acknowledge that it's uh, three years ago today we uh, got back on radio after sitting out. Like, right. Was it three years oh, that wow. uh, since we've been on? Three years back? ago today we did our first show back. Wow. Wow. For XM. I understand XM is celebrating, flies. too. Are they? Yes. We'll see what they have in store. Oh, what do they have for us? Wicklin's going to throw up on the counter. <laughs> and we can make like little animal shapes out of it. <laughs> they have nothing vomit. for us. You know, we were off the air for two years and three months, something like that, and that seemed like an eternity. We've been back longer than we were off radio. We've been back for point. three years. That's Isn't that amazing? Like a lot longer. Uh, yeah. All right. Hey. We, wow. We got a lot of uh, what did you learn today? We're trying to get this bat, uh, this bit back <clears throat> on the show. Let's go to Ginny, uh, White House Station. Ginny, what's up? Hey, you guys killed me at PNC. And Jimmy, I pass your billboard every day. Love your little belly, babe. Thank so you. What I learned today is that <laughs> Anthony's too much of a wussy to get the old snip snip. Come on, Anthony. Ah, uh, oh. shut up, you bitch. Hey, I ain't hey. gonna get hey. what? And She's talking about and, are, uh, instead of end oh, pun, you want to say something else? And <laughs> mm, yeah, it's similar letters. Love you. Uh, bye. Day. Uh, and hey, Jimmy. take a picture of my billboard, the Monster Ray one, on exit 13, and email it, please. I'd love to yeah. see it. Yeah, auto vasectomy, would you get it done? 
No, I, I'd sooner drop a storm window on my ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Exactly. She's calling me a well, wimp and a wuss for not wanting to have a doctor stick scissors in there and do all kinds of work. That area is sensitive. Sometimes if it gets tapped, yeah. it hurts. Oh, yeah. You just brush. Yeah, yeah you brush. Yeah, you go, oh, you did, stars, did it know. hurt? Did it hit the right spot? Did it? I'm not sure yet. I yeah. did. Oh! And then the pain decides to show just up later. Have yeah. the baby, drown it in the tub, and blame it on a black. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, it is. Oh, uh, George, Caroline tonight. That's something we are heard in Boston. <laughs> that's some of the funny you'll uh, hear tonight at Caroline's. But it's accurate. It's Susan Smith. That's exactly what she did yes, with the lake. I mean, exactly. she's blaming it on a black guy. Yeah. It actually worked until yeah. they, uh, she confessed. Let's go to Mongo the trucker. Mongo, what did you learn on the show today? I learned that Don King does a great impression of Keanu Reeves in The Matrix when you ask him a question. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really like to answer questions now, does he? Let's He's... say hi, hi to Paul in Philly. Go Phillies, by the way, Paul. Let's go. Yeah, I learned that uh, Opie is definitely the kiss of death to any team he roots for. He's really gunning for, uh, Dude, for the Phillies. Listen, I did pretty well. I uh, I went with the Red Sox. They won. Went with the Phillies. They lost. Went with the Cubs. They lost. One out of three is not bad for me. There you go. You're batting 666, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but you're... Uh, no, you're, I'm batting 333. Your, your heart is really with uh, the Phillies. Uh, I say oh, yeah. Phillies all the way. Yeah, yeah. And the, uh, well, they're going to win the National League. Uh, Red Sox win oh, the uh, no. American League. Phillies win it all. That's that's it. That's my, And I'm not feeling the Cubs that much. I'm just saying Cubs because we're in Chicago. I'll be honest with that. <laughs> but I truly believe in the Red Sox and the Phillies this year. All right. Thank you, Paul. Uh, let's say hi to Rob uh, from New Jersey. Rob, what's up? Hey. Hey. Uh, I learned today that uh, Don King fixes his hair by sticking his head out of an airplane window. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was really funny. I, My stupid hair joke that I had to give. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe in New York. Gabe, what did hey, you learn? What's up, guys? Hey. I, won, uh, I learned that Don King said the words Madison Square Garden more times than the Iron Sheik. <laughs> Iron Sheik. Uh, Brendan, Boston, what's up? Hey, boys. You know, today I learned about the mystery of time zones. Yeah. I guess it's like you know, morning here, but it's uh, afternoon in like Cleveland. Good afternoon, Cleveland. Yeah, good afternoon, good Cleveland. Afternoon, guys. All right, let's hey, go to Sonny Ferrelli. Sonny. Hey, guys. Hey. hey I learned today, um, how are you guys doing? Hi. What? It's phone call Thursday. I oh, Jesus. What a waste. Oh, wow. Sonny. I came in second. I came in second on Pest Poker uh, on Sunday there, uh, Sonny. Oh, hey. Congratulations. Where the hell were you? Ah, uh, well, you know, I'm having some problems on the home front, but, you know, it's, you know, phone call Thursday. How are you guys? Oh, shut up. Right, Good son. luck to you, Sonny. <laughs> you got to go. Good Sonny. luck, buddy. So, Otto and George, Caroline's tonight at 10 o'clock. You're going over to the other joint, right? Yes. Otto and George. Oh, yeah. oh, you're doing the walkover now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we go to the other place now. Okay. So, we got to Oh, you haven't seen that studio yet? Well, no. What are they oh, doing? it's amazing. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you to Don King. It was just a great guest. It yeah. really would be a great interview. Uh, the fight, uh, Samuel Peter, Jamil McCline, WBC Championship this Saturday, October 6th at the Garden here in New York. Go to the box office or uh, Ticketmaster and get tickets. Nice work. Luke. Thank you. Nice work. Luke. All right, we'll continue on XM. Son of a bitch. You're not joining Son us over there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You're not joining us over there. And punt. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> This is the Opie and Anthony Show. The virus is spreading. Opie and Anthony. Is that dramatic enough for you? <laughs> wow. All right, why does it sound different in the headphones? Does it? Because it will every bassy, day. right? Yeah, the, last, uh, the first couple days in the new studio, I'm very, very happy with everything, and uh, this is really bassy. Yeah. No? People are going to think it's worse, though, because we say this every day now. No, hmm. we've been... There's always something with a headphone. Uh, I think. All right, whatever. I, nah, think. I don't like this at all. It's Opie and Anthony live at XM Satellite Radio. Three years ago today, we uh, did our first show for XM. From right here, huh? Well, it looked this a little different. It. it was Frank's place back then. We hijacked Frank's, Frank's place. place to do our first uh, broadcast for XM. And that guy, Buddy, is still holding out. He's oh. fucking up in that little teeny studio. He is not leaving. You gotta uh. love that guy. He refuses to go. <laughs> he refuses to he's go. He's like cancer. He's just gonna fucking stay until... He's one of these guys... What a that, nudge. He's one of these guys that can't get the hint. No one wants you here. Go. There's a place for you guys somewhere else in the city. Go. 
We're like that. That we're a tree growing around him. Like Ant was talking about, like when you see signs and the tree is like engulfing the sign. Yeah, the tree eats a sign. That's where what we're doing to this guy, and he will refuses to leave. Just stays here. He's got a tiny little area way in the back, no window, nothing at this point. And he won't go. They they have a brand new facility for him. Yeah. Why won't he go? He's an odd little man. He refuses to leave. <laughs> Fuck him. The Oompa Loompa. Yeah. If we we're talking about three years on XM. Oh, wow. It, yeah, it all that's started, going back. It all started with him. The Oompa Loompa. That is really going back. All right, we got a lot of people in studio. Otto from Otto and George. Caroline's tonight, 10 o'clock here in New York City. Big show for Otto. Yep. Big show. Big show. 212-757-4100. And uh, Jimmy brought a friend in, Eric. Yeah, my pal, Eric McMahon, who I started with. We've been friends yeah. for 17 Ooh. years. Long You've time. You've had a friend that long? It's fucking depressing, isn't it? <laughs> it is we're, depressing. We're older gentlemen now. He's got gray hair. It's like, I'm fucking <laughs> 39. It just sucks. It's hard to avoid that at this point. Yeah. Is that bugging you, the 39 thing, Jim? Yeah. No, why would it? Just try to say it obsessively? Because it's the one before, you know. 40. Yeah. What, did, what do yeah, I it's... have to look forward to? You know, big forty, <laughs> big four zero around the corner. I mean, how does it feel? Well, you find that thirty nine is a magical year because you find that wow, I still can't maintain a relationship, and uh, it's still hard to achieve an erection unless I'm paying for it. <laughs> yeah, so things are really fucking coming along well. <laughs> fucking disgusting lack of progress I've made. No wow. progress. No, none. My life. You're doing very well with yourself. You should be very proud and very happy at uh, where you are in your life. The work is fun, but Jimmy desires a very healthy relationship. Morgan. Yeah, he really does. Jimmy really wants. Yeah, a, well, everyone wants something very that healthy they, don't, they don't have at, at some point in their life. But that's I'm what just he's thinking been working when you hit, on. When you hit forty, see, I, I know. I thought back when I was uh, like in my teens to what forty would be like. My impression of forty, and it. It wasn't this. You thought it was really old. Then you realize to the people that are the age you were when you were thinking it, you are fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's kind of a, yeah, well, it, it is definitely, it's, it's worse than 30 was as far as crossing the 30 threshold. 40 is like parents' age. Like when you, became, you, you think of your parents' age. Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't want, I was really bad. I didn't want to fucking go from 12 to 13. 13 bugged me. I wanted to, like, be 12, because once you're a teen, then you were, like, getting older. I, I wanted to, like, Peter Pan. I wanted oh. to be, like, Peter Pan. You know, wear tight. Yeah. Suck a dick. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's not gay if you're wearing green. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a problem People have issues up. with turning older, man. I, I, I'm a little weirded out by it. My, I, I point it out a lot when I talk. Like, I'm 39, 39. I, it's like, I guess 40 is a little bit fucking. Florentine told me a story. Um, that, that he was hitting on some chick and she was like 24 and she said to Jim, how old are you? And, he, and he's like, uh, whatever he is, 42. And then she's like, well, what interest would you have in me? I'm 24. Wow. <laughs> what interest. Wow. There's, there's an, an easy answer to that one. Yeah. I noticed the other day when I was going into a Starbucks, I'm getting coffee for my, uh, my girlfriend, and um, I didn't, there was were, were a gaggle of, of younger girls sitting there and I didn't give a shit how I walked or what I was wearing or looking at. Like, that used to make me so self-conscious, walking into a place and there were some chicks there, and I'd be like, oh, God, are they going to say something? They're talking about me or something, you know, they're making fun of me or whatever the fuck. Yeah. It was like something. And I realized I don't give a shit what they think, and I think that – and then I wasn't sure if it was age or the fact that I'm famous and I have more money. I could get more bitches than I can fucking, you know, juggle. I'm teasing, of course. But, <laughs> but it, was, it was like that we have contact with so many people. Or if I just don't care anymore. It's, it's a combination of things. Or if I'm in a relationship. You know, I, I've been well, in a relationship for years. You don't care about anything, really. So, I mean. <laughs> I really am a careless. I mean, Jesus. A non-caring Do you really want us ass. to answer this? I don't think you care about anything. I care about one thing. Me. We get it. Me. No, you know, Anthony is nicer than people think. You, you, Anthony, you see Anthony's little sweet moments. Come out. That's I'm queer, but Anthony doesn't like showing a sweet moment. I'm though. selfish no. with uh, my my like time with me. I'm very generous when it comes to other shit. Yeah. I know that. I like I like having a good time. I like other people having fun. Uh, things like that. Uh, I, I I love footing the bill for things like that. People having fun. But when it comes to um, like I if I just want to do something, I want to fucking do it. Mm -hmm. I don't care who thinks what. If I just want to sit and fucking. Fuck on the, around with the computer for ten hours straight. 
That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I don't want to get something. I don't want to clean something up. I don't want to do. That's why the marriage like went to shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was one of many reasons. Well, yeah. To love, honor, and step over when she's loaded. <laughs> yeah, don't beat. Don't, <laughs> don't beat yourself up on that one. <laughs> no, no. Uh, believe me, I'm not. That's not. Believe the me, why I'm marriage, not. Marriage uh, went like bye bye. Chores. You, you know, you're yeah. famous. You don't do chores, right? Do chores. Could you have interns in your private life, or is it just for the radio? Should I yeah. should bring them? Nah, I do. We, I call. Call them Mexicans. Yeah. Club soda, <laughs> Club soda they, Kenny. He, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kenny is definitely... Uh, He's your... basically licking my stamps at this point. <laughs> Kenny's like the Terminator, though. Like, he'll just stand outside your door and kind of, like, stand sleep until you need him. He's just a <laughs> fucking... He's on standby. Just yeah. a lumbering really? presence. There, there are times there's... Lumbering. Like, you know, I, I bought a new place and there's a lot of things that need to be done, so I asked Kenny to, you know, watch the workers because I need to take a nap. It's, yeah. it's lame. <laughs> so I come home from work and I need to take my nappy. Yeah. And Kenny will will stand there like a creep for hours, <laughs> and I'll come out after sleeping for two hours. He's still standing in the same place. I'm going off uh, Jim's thought here because it is true. Wow! And I go, Kenny, you could sit down. No, no, that wouldn't be professional. Wow. And he just stands at, at, at like a ghoul and uh, overlooks what's going on <laughs> in the apartment for hours on end. God. And then I go, can I get your lunch? No, I'll eat after I'm I'm done here. Gh, wow. gh. <laughs> So it's creepy. Hey, uh, lackey. Did we get this from Whackbag? <laughs> I don't want message boards pissed off at us if it, it's more than one, but it sounds like this is from Whackbag. Why are there any others? Whackbag? I don't even know. You don't like it? There's a few others that are. Oh yeah, that are, that are helping out the show. Yeah. I I don't know. I know. Blown aids. I know of one Whackbag. That's all I know. Look, I'm I'm putting up my whack my Whackbag. Um, it's my Whackbag signal. That's what they do. It's gang signs for a fucking message board. Shoot me, somebody. They, really? yeah. they, they actually put up a W? That's what Snoop yeah, does. Yeah, and that's the bad one. What about, what about uh, Frunkus.net? I don't know about that one. Steve does a good job. I don't know Frunkus. this website. I don't know what he Isn't does. Isn't that like a Star Trek? Is that almost No, like that's a, a Vulcan. Oh, that, Live long and prosper. Live long and die <laughs> screaming. Yeah, and this is artificial <laughs> pussy, but it takes two people to make. Yeah, oh. yeah. And you put the hands <laughs> together. What, what, what is up. the one for live long and then wait five minutes to call EMS while she's fucking at the bottom of the pool? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Scotty, he pulled out his old prop communicator to call and, uh, Bones. Bones, my wife is in the pool. Bones. <laughs> Doesn't work. She's drowning. Last bubble comes up. Yeah. He decides to get the phone. Uh, well, we got, what did we learn? The three-year anniversary from Whack Bag. Oh, wow. They've been doing this for, uh, for the last, uh, what, week or so, and uh, we got some of the better ones. Danny compiled the list here. <laughs> so if we read yours, pat yourself on the back, you made the list. There this you is go. what did we learn since we started? Uh, back at XM, anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, did, what did we learn? The three-year anniversary, anniversary edition. Jimmy is now a best-selling author. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. How is Happy Endings doing? It was good. It was five weeks on the list. I mean, uh, I think it's still doing okay. What happens in that world, though? Then it just goes away? or Yeah, there's only 10. There's like there's like a, a X amount of spots on the... There's 15 on the printed list. Away. But no, I don't mean out. the bestseller list. I'm right. just talking in general with the book. Is it one of... The, I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. Like, does a book sell real well for three or four weeks, and then it drastically drops off, and then kind of people buy it here and there? You like, balance how, how out. How does that work? It depends on the support you have. Like, I had the radio station. I had a, a lot of the stuff that we did. But I'm never going to get the support of, like, a Reader's Digest or Oprah. It, it, there's continual pushes that will happen for a guy like Tony Dungy's book or whatever. You know, first black uh, coach to win a Super Bowl. So there's other things that will push him. But I, I sold very well. And now we'll just kind of even out. Where, where in the bookstore is that found? Under uh, In some places it was humor. actually in the front when you walk in. Um, and in some places it was in, it's always in humor. It's in the humor section. Yeah, but it was in the new section too when you first yeah. walk in. They get a good placement in Barnes & Noble. Yeah, it's cool. It's in every airport I've been in in the past six months. Is it really? Oh, it's ridiculous, yeah. Oh, I no, didn't know. It's right there in the middle and they've got it all. You know, all the others are turned sideways. You can just see the, the jacket on the side. Yours is right there laying there, happy endings. That's yes, disgusting. Jimmy. And Eric, <laughs> you've been Jimmy's uh, friend for 17 years. How much does that that bother you? Let's be honest. <laughs> it was I know what he said happy. about me in the book, Ope. <laughs> I know you're happy for him, but wait, what did you say about him in the book? I, I the love book. it. I said <laughs> something about what did I said. I have it down. He's a he's a nice man and a good a good father and a good parent, but uh, he's a cross between uh, John Ashcroft and Robert Maple 
Oglethorpe, and I see him digitally raping a hitchhiker at some point. Yeah, uh, I, uh, because Eric is a fucking Eric's a very responsible, like good guy. He's a conservative dude, but he's a, a, a sociopath. Wow. Like he's a guy with that. He's like a guy that has that fucking absolute snap temper rage, oh. and uh, you'd never know what to look at him. He looks like such a gentleman, but. No, he looks like he could star in a Lifetime movie about a guy that meets a woman and everything's fine until he just starts punching her in the eyes. <laughs> and, and the girlfriends have to figure out some way to kill him. Yeah. That's my initial impression. Starring Marky Post. You know, what? <laughs> you know what about that book, though? It's like all those little things that he talked about, you know, the boogers and everything and all the like he wipes himself and rubs smells it, you know? Yeah. We went together to uh, Voss's, when Voss first taped the, the HBO thing on Def Jam, he was the first white guy to be on Oh my Def. God, me and you did go to that We together. were in the balcony together yeah. with the only two white people. know that, so. <laughs> I was the first one. To, yeah, we know. Voss is great mm. at getting you in the balcony of things. He oh, fucking right. sucks. It's amazing. Yeah. the worst. Dude, the Donald Trump roast, it's got to be brought up again. Uh, yeah. And we'll get back to your story. This is what we do on the show. You'll learn That's all right. I'm quickly, with you. I'm with you. Uh, he invites Ant and I. Uh, you were on the dais? No, 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 I was with you guys. And you were with us too. I'm I'm sorry, Jimmy. Yeah, Rich Voss is on the days for the Donald Trump roast, and he's going to do some time, and he wants to invite his friends. And we were quite flattered. He's like, I want you guys there when I roast uh, Donald Trump. So we get there, and we see everybody just, you know, filing into the joint. And, uh, into the, the huge banquet hall. Hu like, this banquet <laughs> hall could easily fit a thousand people. Yeah. It's key to the story. This place was massive. Big Hilton tables, in New York. And everyone's just going straight, straight to, the, in. to the tables and, that are on the floor in front of the stage. We're just following the crowd like, this is really cool, you know? We're going to meet a lot of celebrities, and we get to see our pal up close, like, uh, roasting Donald Trump. Ticket guy goes, uh, uh, y you guys are that way. We're like, oh, okay, we're probably on the other side of the uh, this massive banquet hall. No, he was pointing to the elevators. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're oh, up there. We were up in the balcony. I, I I saw the pictures recently. Donald Trump looked this big. I know I'm making a visual, but I, well, you could barely tell it was him. And not only was it had. not only was it shitty seats in the balcony, but we were behind the the big screen TV that they put up. So we had to look uh, over the top the of that. View. Yeah, completely obstructed view. Voss is. Uh, uh, just useless. <laughs> so, so getting back to you guys, no, you're in the balcony. So I'm in the balcony, and we're waiting for Voss to go on. He was on the toward the end of the show, and Norton, of course, is nervously fingering his belly button and smelling it the whole time we're waiting to do it. So he's like, you know, the whole time, want to whiff, want to whiff, and I'm like, no, get that away from me. And then just before Voss is about to go on, he's got his finger, and he goes, come on, you got to take a whiff for good luck for Voss. Do it for Voss. And I go, I, I almost passed out. In the uh, I finally got him. I guilted him into doing it so our fucking Jewish friend didn't get murdered by the fucking 2,000 blacks in the crowd, and neither did we. And it was all obvious who we were there to see. Dude, one of my favorite times hanging out with all the comedians was uh, Rich Voss and a bunch of us in a parking lot at a train station because yep. I was uh, getting back on a train and uh, we went around the circle smelling Rich Voss's the, the shit that's the ear behind stuff, his ear right, yeah. and two guys uh, puked <laughs> Uh, and it was one after another. We all took a hit, and it was it was some of the funniest <laughs> stuff like ever. Like a salty discharge behind no, his ear. Oh, you don't know. He's got no. a cyst <sighs> that kind of oozes and leaks. Get out of here. He had it taken out, uh, though. He had it taken out recently. Right. <sighs> but he rubs it. And it it really is like a, it's a weird stench that in nature it repel, repels you. It's like yeah. uh, you, you back up instinctively. It's, it's not even your dying bacteria. Uh, it's like yeah. it's it's so an that, infection. But I've seen people fall to the ground and then everyone else around just you can't, you're laughing so hard it, it hurts. It is the worst. <laughs> I, it's, and I forgot who puked. I think it might have been Adam Ferrara or somebody. But they were puking and dry heaving over the whole <laughs> thing. No, that day you had a fucking serious unit. You were still talking about doing you go to serious exam. It was way back, and it was really depressing times, man. And Voss's ear did not fucking help. No. <laughs> what a way to end a depressing day. <laughs> All right. Uh, what did we learn? Three-year anniversary. Uh, Opie got engaged along with some other guy from the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Blew up his spot bad that day. Uh, Travis is a married woman. <laughs> And has a cat named Jack-Jack, whom was given to him by Steve from Bayshore. People know that? Jeez, bunch of busybody, nosy people. Did they learn anything before September? Life. I know. What is it? This is all new stuff. Yeah, but this is like our staff when they're picking a line of the day. They, they, they yeah. just go they through the, the last, la last half hour. Last 15 minutes of the radio show. It's easier that way. The Than and Sam show is successful-ish. Uh, what did we learn? Three-year anniversary edition. Danny discovered chocolate rain, but the world will never know. Really? I think so. Danny brought chocolate rain to our show. 
And then it became. Yeah, then it kind of took off. It kind of took off from there, but I think we were the first media outlet that started playing Chocolate Rain. Chocolate Rain. Uh, Rich Voss is a father again. What do you think about that, Eric? You've known Rich for a while. He, that's ridiculous. I think Bonnie yeah. just totally whipped him into doing that. that uh, I, I couldn't imagine having two kids that were all growing up out of diapers and all that and just going back to that. And ha- well, what is he? He's almost 50. He's How over 50. He's over 50. He's over 50. We celebrated his 50th this summer in. Um, uh, Connecticut, Mohegan Sun. No, he's in love. Graduation for the kid, and he, if he's alive, he'll be 70. Yeah. You know, just sitting there going, it's my, <laughs> it's my baby. It's he'll be the same age as everybody else's grandparents. Yeah, yeah. the grandparents will be there. It's like, oh, so are you very happy about uh, your grands? Oh, yeah, real happy. Yeah. <laughs> as his teeth fall out. But 70 is not that old. Do you hang out with any 70-year-olds? They're not, 70's not that old anymore. All right, look, it's I understand old. the 40 thing was the earlier. I'm serious, I'm saying though. 40, Dude, it's one thing, but 70. We could take a million phone calls. 70 is not that. My dad had awful, awful health problems, and uh, even at 74, he didn't. It, 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 he, he didn't put it this way. Seventy four years old. In your seventies, yeah. you ain't a, a spry guy jumping around and running. What about your mom? My not mom's that, a. She's a, not seventy, but she's. She should be seventy, like in two thousand nine. So she's, but she's, she's a gym there. rat, dude. I, she's the exception to I the rule. I saw her doing karaoke and dancing for four straight hours. She, that, she's a lunatic. Well, and I think she does coke. <laughs> It's still too late. <laughs> it's too late to be picking your kids up at high school parties. For that yeah, age. yeah. Oh God, you just uh, and he'll just be like an old Jew. Hey, hey, where's my? Uh, let me see your report card. Did you get promoted? <laughs> like using all old school language. Did you get A's? No, it's graded on a numeric system that we don't really uh, A's. Be- what did you pass? How no. was your decorum? Yeah, well, yeah. did you get uh, notes? There's from- no parking. <laughs> like, man, there's no park. Would you prefer him to be an old Scandinavian at 70? Uh, yeah, old Scandinavian. Max von Sydow all of a sudden. <laughs> I'd prefer him to not make it that far. <laughs> Good food, plenty of it. Yeah. Uh, moving on with the list here. Patrice goes to bat for the boys on Fox. Yeah, all these are like only a couple months old. Uh, and makes an angry pirate joke. Mm-hmm. One of the greatest clips. One of the greatest Opie and Anthony clips. Check it out on YouTube. Uh, the pack was formed and fans will band together to help the show. Uh, Derek only spoke on air once this year. How do they know that? Wow. Uh, the traveling virus was a success. This, this is uh, what we learned from the last three years. Jeez, from the last three friggin' months. Officially, the ONA show won Duty Wars. Cock meat. Nothing but cock meat. Mm. He's, oh, how about bringing up, like, interoculars? <laughs> <laughs> and, oh wow! And, and, you know, right? and the uh, I'm, I'm absolutely crying, crying over, over here. here. What was his name? Can we play Bruce. Some of that shit today? Bruce. Bruce Kelly. Can Bruce you find Kelly? One? Bring up a Bruce. Bruce Kelly's a crybaby. That's my. What did we learn for three years? Yeah, hmm. yeah. We got to play some of that. Get an interlocutor. Okay. Get an example of an. Interlocular. I want to get his uh, get his who stuff where he starts crying because yeah, he saw the who live. Yeah. What a douche. It's a blithering <laughs> idiot making everybody oh. uncomfortable. They ask him. He's one of the jocks that used to work at uh, XM. I, I like the guy. Why are you him? He was great. He was. I like him too, but he's a douche. <laughs> if, if you go, if you go and see the Who, uh, he's at. A, yeah, he's worked at XM. He's a jock, and they send him off to see the Who, uh, and he comes back to the other jocks that are sitting there, and they ask him, "Hey, how was it?" And he goes, "Well, I saw the Who. It's absolutely amazing." And he's crying. Oh my God. I'm getting emotional here. It's the who? Shut up. Well, do we have that? We might as well play it as we're referencing it. All right, oh, E-Rock's fantastic. finding it. Uh, Opie and E-Rock learned nothing from Anthony's divorce stories. Well, apparently uh, not. Well, hopefully you do. Uh, what did we learn? Three-year anniversary. Thank you, Kenny. You brought me a smoothie. <laughs> Kenny, I forgot they were bringing us food today. Oh, yeah, but I got you a little snack. Who won? Oh, but look at the big buffet that Don Wickling got us today. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh man. Hard Rock. XM and Hard Rock. Rock. Don't uh, give Don Wickling credit where it's not deserved. Hmm. XM and Hard Rock. (laughs) I think Don hates me at this point. Why? Because I goof on him a lot, and it's really harsh. He doesn't smile at me much anymore. I said that for XM, I think he just walks around with a stick with a point on it, picking up paper around the parking lot. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think he'd like that. All right, here's Bruce Kelly uh, crying after seeing the hoe. This is amazing. Go ahead, E-Rock. 
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't help it. I really can't. This is no fake. I, you know, the whole moment just kind of, uh, um, kind of got to me with that video. Douche. What does he have? A vagina? Douche. <laughs> this wow. is no fake. Wow. He even uses a little boy's this is terminology. No, no fake. I'm no a, fake. I'm absolutely crying over here. Yeah. Why would you fake that you're crying at the who? And they go, ha ha, oh. I, I, I fooled you. Yeah. I got, I, I got to hear that again. Is there another clip too? Or is I'm that absolutely yeah. crying over here? Yeah, play the longer version. Because then he tries to explain why he's crying and he just, he what? just buries himself. Work. Fucking Bob O'Reilly playing? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Please. Mm hmm. Please. Sorry, the sound of me drinking a smoothie makes for great radio. Hmm. What did you get? Egg whites? Egg whites, yeah. Ugh. All right. Egg whites smell like fucking farts. I, I, honest to God, cut a thousand farts yesterday. My girlfriend was fucking disgusted. No, As well, she no should fake. Be. <laughs> oh, no fake. Oh, hundred. All right, listen. Uh, we got the short clip. That's all we got today. Let's uh, play. Let's play that again. Wow. Let me hear him. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get into that live. Or not. What happened? Clusterfuck. Eric, what are you doing? Clusterfuck. E-Rock. Are you eating potato salad off of the disc? <laughs> 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 well, thanks. It's all set. All right, oh. let's play it. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't help it. I really can't. This is no fake. I, you know, the whole moment just kind of uh, um, kind of got to me with that video. <laughs> oh, that video. That video. Oh, oh. It's Tub Girl. I think it was a montage. Tub of Girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jimmy. Well, I'm not going to beat that, so enjoy that. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? Uh, never. Oh, okay. What did we learn? Uh, the three year edition here. Never to let a creepy cold guy in your car at a rest stop. There you mm -hmm. go. One of the mm -hmm. great Patrice O'Neill stories. Jimmy's girlfriend makes him smell her cum breath. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Kenny and Roland are singing Sensations. Funny you should mention that, because last night, uh, the lovely, the lovely deer got a batch and, uh, brushed her teeth immediately before our kisses goodnight. Oh. You've taken Very a nice stand? Of her. I have taken a stand. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I said, please don't make me kiss you like that again. I will, but please don't make me. It's Ooh. violating. Yeah, you, you don't need that. It leaves a numb taste in your mouth. It's fucking awful. It's awful. <laughs> Just pecking, even her lips had a weird... When girl, you come to a girl's mind, they have a weird quality to their lips when you kiss them. Even if they brush their teeth, it's like, ugh. Secondhand jizz. <laughs> Mine, though. <laughs> yeah, even though it's yours, but it's secondhand. If I wanted, I would fucking just kind of do a headstand and then go, oh. Arc it right into your mouth. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> Some guys want a girl to fucking take the load and then they kiss. Yeah. It's called snowballing. Yeah, I watched what do you think? What do you think that's like the first time? If you're getting secondhand, then it's that repulsive. Oh. I'm sure it's awful. <laughs> That's really just passive aggressive on women's part. You know, here yeah. you go. Here, take this back. <laughs> Mixed with my spit. I don't mind the spit, but my own load, fucking. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't you're know. You're eating it there. Hey, we got the egg we, whites. We got the, the eggs. We got the longer who clip. No fake. Let's go to the longer who clip here. Is this live? Uh, yes, we're live. Uh, Bruce, where were you, buddy? Uh, I was right up under these so, hogs. Uh, you know, it's amazing watching uh, Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey uh, perform these songs after all these years and still have the, the full spirit of what they do under control. I mean, you know, Townsend just continues to be an amazing guitar player. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't help it. I really can't. This is no fake. I, you know, the whole moment just kind of... Uh, um, kind of got to me with that video. Yeah, the video was uh, very powerful. Yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, that's uh, this is very awkward. I'm sorry, but uh, it was just. Very, I mean, you know, it's just the who. I, you know, I can't help but be a 14 year old kid out there with the who. And that's it. I'm sorry. You were seeing them live. I guess that was in color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. They were live on stage, but the black and white was happening on the big screens too. So. Yeah. Uh, through your tears. Wow. Through so there's uh, two more to go again. here uh, at Hyde Park, and the crowd. <laughs> like an idiot. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Okay. No, no. It's just, hey, look, it's that's overwhelming. The, yeah, that's what this. You know, that really is yeah. what this is all about. There are certain yeah. moments that touch everybody. Yeah.
And then they, they're bringing on Strawberry Alarm Clock. I can't take this. Right. Oh, John Cougar's coming out. How about the announcer? It's amazing they can have well, their full spirit after all these. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's just trying to cover for this not, blubbering other adults. Yeah. That, that's, the great, that's the great George Taylor Morris. Uh, and he basically wants to say, get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> you, yeah. know, you know what I've seen in my broadcast <laughs> career? Get a hold of yourself. And, and the, the English girl who went, yeah, through, through your tears. She used to work uh, here. Through her your mother, tears. Her mother is the, uh, the, the weakest link lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her mother. Yeah. Through your tears. Is, does she still work for the company? I don't even know. She's sexy. Right? I saw her walking. She left the company? She should have looked at him and said, you are the weakest man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Um, also, Matt from New York City. Uh, instant feedback. Fucking Pat Battle better be on the list. The Pulp Fiction Pat Battle audio was hilarious. Pat Battle, Pat Battle, Pat Battle, Pat Battle. Can you find that, E-Rock? Wow, I forgot about her. All right, what did we learn? The, the three-year anniversary edition. Uh, where are we at? Okay, Jimmy's girlfriend makes him smell her cum breath. Yeah, we know that. Uh, Jimmy F and N. Yes. These are all from only a couple months ago. Mm. These guys have uh, problems with their memories here. Yeah. Uh, cat shovel baseball can be fun. Opie hates cake so much that he needs to stomp it into the ground. Right, that's at least going back a little bit. Hmm. William loves to wear dresses and fingernail polish. Uh, Steve from Bayshore is the king of instant feedback. and can talk over the beep. Mm -hmm. Opie is a nude model for Lindsay's art homework. <laughs> that happened. Uh, frunk is his Latin, meaning to frunk. <laughs> I do. Hmm. And hates phone call Thursday. This bit's a month old. Come on, help. I know. Let's go a little older here. When Jimmy was a boy, he told someone in the hallway at school to shut up. Uh, Eric Logan is an alcoholic who thought uh, Wiki was gay. Speaking of which, we do have the alcoholic finally uh, checking in with the show. <laughs> Eric Logan, everyone. Hi, Eric. Happy anniversary, boys. Thank you, Elo. Thank you. Elo? Yes? Uh, it has been a pleasure these three years working at XM Satellite Radio with you at the helm uh, of us, you know. Uh, and I just want to thank you for the three years that we've, oh. uh, we've had here. No, you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm oh, glad you're in your new studio. One, one more thing. Can I have Yankee playoff tickets? <laughs> of course you can, Jimmy. Oh, no, that was no, Anthony, you alpha. Oh, Anthony? Anthony. Oh, Anthony? Anthony? Of course you can, Anthony. Well, like, Thank you. Eric, it's like you say. I mean, I didn't believe you when you said that you're really running things and Nate comes to you for counsel. But you really are running things, and I'm, I'm glad that we, that we yeah. finally established that. Want to go to the game, too? Yes. All right. Need some for Jimmy, too. And I need so a uh, total of four. I've got some Mets playoff tickets, but I don't know who they're playing. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I need tickets for my uh, my new favorite team, the Phillies. So. Oh, the Phillies. Yeah, they, uh, look, they look hot last night. I love the Phillies. Opie's yeah, the sports curse, curse in full effect, man. They just... The curse is on. And I know Opie's serious because you can't just... Opie can't just pick a team because he wants them to lose and root for him. He sincerely has to want them to win. And he's kind of a two-city hmm. guy now. With uh, his girlfriend uh, coming from Philly, so he really wants Philly to win, and Ant's, they they're just going to lose now. Anthony saw it when we were like getting a tour of the facility down there. It's amazing. And I started looking around, going, and I started even looking at buying a Phillies cap and everything. We were in the wow. park, just going, "Wow, this this is a beautiful ballpark. What a great day we were having there, watching the game." And uh, Ope then uh, called it, said Phillies all the way, and yep, uh, it, it only means. They will completely self-destruct and lose, because you are the sports curse incarnate. Yeah, no, they're done. They're done. And once the once the word of the curse gets out, somebody's gonna like post your photo everywhere open. They're gonna run you out of town. Yeah, they will not like you. No, they won't like you. So I was, I was put on hold and I was listening to everybody yelling at me, Rock, trying to find bits. And it's like, well, I've lost all my luggage on my trip and I don't have a charger. And it seems like the show's off to a roaring start. Seems oh. like things are usual after three years. Wait, you lost your your luggage? Uh, they lost a bag. It had all my chargers in it, so I had to go buy new chargers. Where are you going? From where to where? Uh, I'm in... Uh... 
Oh, <laughs> I actually did not see that one coming. I didn't either. I I, I was going to ask him about his luggage and losing I, it, and, and is he, the <laughs> FBI going to be interested on what's on his laptop? Exactly. <laughs> I knew when you asked that question, you didn't care about the answer. How so could you? You helped a bit there. How uh, could you? Where's your chargers? Where could that possibly go that has comedic value? Right. <laughs> Unless you lost them in someone's cunt. <laughs> it's funny you should ask. I was mouth fucking an invalid, and I dropped my luggage. <laughs> hey, uh, the Pat Battle bit is five minutes long? Yeah. What? I don't remember it being five minutes long. Yeah, we did it with a whole bunch of clips. Hmm. No, I know that. But the Pulp Fiction one is five minutes long? E? Well, we can throw together a compilation. Talk. Yeah, give it a try, E-Rock. Grab there that mic. Okay. It's also e October. Right. Well, um, we'll focus on that tomorrow. We gotta, we're going to focus oh, yeah. on the anniversary today. Believe me. Yeah, E-Rock, it, it's five minutes long? It's a short worst of segment, yeah. What is it? A whole... Uh, it's the compilation of all the Pat Battles. All right, now I got it, right? I believe so, yeah. Oh, I just want to hear the Pulp Fiction one that they're referencing, if we could find that. All right. All right, thanks. Uh, what did we learn? The three-year anniversary edition. Uh, bullhorn should never be used next to a news reporter. There you go. There's something that's a little older. Blows their ears out, and they'll threaten to sue you. Arthur Chien should have kept his cool, at least until the camera went off. Mm -hmm. hmm. Julie Khan. <laughs> Actually, it's Khan. Khan. Uh, cock blocked the boys from getting Godsmack. Tom C has gay taste in uh, uh, has gay taste in neckties. Mm -hmm. Imus has a soundproof room just so he could say the N word over and over. <laughs> and great minds think a lot. That's all we got from the a message lot. board. Yeah. A lot more coming in. All right, a lot more coming in though. They sucked. Yeah, they're not too uh, good, right? Just all new ones. How about some old older ones? Let's say hi. I right, got some old school. Yeah, let's go to Dom on Long Island. Dom, what's up? Hey, Dom. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. Uh, just, uh, I, I know that Opie's uh, a lot braver than three black men going up against Bernie Getz, and that was the only time uh, it got hot in there. Wow. And you had a call in. Yeah, that Bernie uh, Getz stuff was uh, kind of scary. Uh, I... I remember he ran out of the studio and he went for something in his bag and probably realized that he wasn't carrying that day. That was very frightening. We, we yeah. ought to try to get him back. Maybe he forgot who we are. Yeah. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a weird vibe, man. He wouldn't come back. We wanted him back. He's a weirdo. He's truly nuts. good radio, bro. then. Yeah, yeah he was, he's completely nuts. Now, what's great about that bit is the old uh, security footage we had of that, of yeah. him running out of the studio and running back in. And I was definitely really scared. I had no idea why he ran out of the studio. He went to his bag. And went to his bag. Oh, and then he, he came back to... in empty-handed like, fuck, oh. I don't have it on me. Thought he was going to give Opie <laughs> the old, you look okay, yeah. and oh, put man. two more in him. Yeah. Bernie Getz on this show, though. We had him All on right, a guys. Congratu uh, congratulations. All right. Thank you, sir. We had him on like twice. That was his second appearance or third appearance. Yeah. I think we, yeah. He wanted to do a music show and stuff. And oh. Brought his CDs in. And I started, he was running for mayor. Started smashing his CDs in front of him, but yeah. I didn't really smash him because <laughs> I didn't have the balls to do it, actually. So I was smashing another CD, and he thought I was smashing his CD, and he ran out of the studio <laughs> to he, he find went, something. You motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have the you motherfucker part? He just wanted to organize his papers with total obsessive compulsive disorder and oh talk my about God, squirrels. Yeah. Um, vegetarianism. A, uh, what a wacko. And his papers had to be all in order, anything out of order, and he freaked out. So Opie grabbed one of his CDs and uh, switched it with another one and broke it. So he thought Opie had broken one of his CDs that were part of his orderly world, and he lost his mind, called him a motherfucker, hmm. stormed out, and we thought he was going to come back in with a gun and shoot Opie, like he did those... Um, young gentleman that wanted to borrow five dollars from him on the subway well he took mm. us through the shootings one by one it was chilling he took us no through all four with complete honesty and he uh. said how it felt to pull the trigger i mean he didn't yeah. fuck around man really painted a picture I love him yeah mm. <laughs> you're not <laughs> trying to hold him but do you fuck them favor because you're driving me crazy you're a killer you're a big shot <laughs> just kill you're a killer you fuck that battle what you fuck that battle how could you ask me a question like that? By the way, who thought that was Pulp Fiction? Yeah, who thought? Yeah, Come on, right raise a hand. Right there it says Pulp Fiction. Who, right who labeled that? Who, who right thought? There. Right there it says it right there. What e fucking non-movie knowing e fucker? E-Rock thought that was Pulp Fiction. What a dope. I hope this is better. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm Pat Battle. I made my bones when you were going out with cheerleaders. The Godfather. Close yeah. to Pulp Fiction. You know, maybe if your wish list on Amazon 
didn't have little kitty baby fucking cartoons on it and had uh, movies that adults watch instead of SpongeBob SquarePants on your wish list on Amazon. <laughs> no, no, no. We got. They've had Goodfellas. We're getting there. Pulp Fiction. We'll get some. He doesn't know any man's movies. Mm -mm. I was reading um, Peter Falk's autobiography. He w he was offered the role of Mo Green in Godfather One, but he turned it down. It wasn't big enough part. What really, idiot. Yeah. yeah. Jesus you Christ. There? Yeah, why not? Yeah. You, you don't buy me out. I buy you out. Yeah. <laughs> if you already had the glass eye, you could have shot it right, right there with a BB yeah, gun. through with the glass eye. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's a Sicilian message. I mean, it's Pat Battle. He sleeps with the fishes. Who's Pat Battle? Wow. Pat Battle, uh, uh, a pretty husky uh, African-American reporter huh. here in New York. Who, uh, we just loved her name. We were obsessed with it. <laughs> it's because she looked like a pet battle. You know, going into battle. It was just the worst name a woman can have. Yeah. Pat Battle. There was not an ounce of sexuality. In her or the name. Oh, she was awful. Mm. May I help you? Yes, uh, Pat Battle. Who? Pat Battle. Oh my god, this whole thing is wrong. Yeah. Alright, well. Hardware. Wow. Enough about Pat Battle. All right, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, someone wanted Must that. Must have hated that Pat Battle. <laughs> someone wanted that request, and we, we don't have it right now. Okay, Tom B. from Maryland. Uh, I learned Nazis get rides before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we did that bit. Bill K. from Philly. Hey, Ope, I learned Ralphie May saved the show. Yep, back in the old days. That, that was in, uh, around Thanksgiving of 04. That it was, we were back on radio a month. Yeah. And we almost got kicked. And we off almost again. blew it. I fucked that chick in that in in that <laughs> I know you in, in what now is Ron and Fess's office with no condom. She was so drunk, she was ready to pass out, and I gave her a good deep dicking. <laughs> no, not the uh, not the one who got fucked up. The other was one. she uh, was she all dry? No, she had a nice fat puss too. Yeah, a good deep dicking she got, and I think I came on the floor. Deep dicking. Oh, <laughs> oh god damn! You fucking. That was man. wonderful. No fucking bag, no nothing on the table. <laughs> One of those girls was so wasted that she did try to leave the studio by walking out that window. So yeah, that was a good one. Wow! And we had to retire the uh, Jägermeister. Yeah, uh, that was machine. the day the Jägermeister machine. Uh, but they did come in here drunk. We lost it, and the wiffle ball bat became uh, obsolete. Yeah, yeah, weren't allowed to use that either. Uh, Uncle Sully, Bob Kelly is still riding Dane Coates, uh, Dane's Cooks. coattails. All right, Thomas Overbeck from Dallas. I learned that you could do something gay but remain 100% straight by saying no homo. No homo. I learned Jimmy makes the most annoying sounds. Uh, someone from their cell phone. I learned the art of the topless. Uh, Justin from Hoboken. I learned that it only takes XM three years to build a studio for its biggest show. Fast Freddy. We learned that Opie enjoys the scent of coffee when firemen visit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> Lindsay from Portland. Uh, she learned right right about now I'm Paul R. Nelson. Paul R. Nelson. Danny, I learned that hornet stings to the ball bag. Mm. Equals radio gold. Equals radio gold, yeah. Some of these are poorly written. George and Philly. Here's something I learned three years ago from Monet. If I hear another damn George Carlin bit, I will stab someone in the neck. That's going that's, back. See, that's old. Reverend Dave, I learned that faggoty West Coast callers like to hear sketches on the air. Oh, wow. That's going <laughs> yeah. back. Yes. Uh, Baron from Louisiana, I learned no matter how cute your voice may appear and how, how kinky you are, fat and annoying is fat and annoying. Hmm. They're making fun of D.D. We love D.D. Oh. oh. Uh, Bill K. again, I learned Opie's great aunt likes a good deep dickin'. <laughs> Tony from Tampa learned that Bubba is a cunt, and if we don't like the show, we can wake up with Whoopi. Someone from their cell phone. I learned the correct way to install Vista from Ant. Yes. Almost two million hits on YouTube. Now they're coming in like crazy. All right, a we're going to take YouTube a quick break. Star. We got Otto and George. Uh, well, Otto, George is uh, at home. He's yeah. feeling under the weather or something, right? In the box. <laughs> I just didn't want to schlep the valise today. I got to come back into the city later to do this fucking Caroline, so... From Why, he's just asking about George. Right away, you, you're getting yeah, fucking fresh. fresh. Fucking fresh. <laughs> he's doing Caroline's tonight. Yeah. 212-757-4100. And uh, Eric is doing a gig. Uh, we are talking about being 40. It's called The Four Sides of 40, which is four comedians who are 40, I think, right? 
Yeah, yeah four said we got a single married newlywed and a divorcee. Hey, that's kind of cool. Yeah, a Tarrytown Music Hall on uh, Saturday night up Which, in uh, by the Tappazee Bridge. Ticketmaster. Tarrytownmusichall.org has everything, but. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, Patty Rossborough is uh, like oh, the funniest female around. She too, is yeah. really a yeah. fucking funny comic. Right. And uh, Lenny Marcus and Al Ducharme's the uh, oh, cool. foolishly got married at forty years old. That's so. Dope. <laughs> so wow. yeah, it's actually a good show, and uh, Eric is a really good comic, and um, so he's there Saturday. Wow, is it Caroline's tonight? We're gonna come and, back, and yes. we're gonna continue uh, celebrating three years at XM. We got to go hit the buffet now. Look at that buffet; it's just. It's just it's just uh it's it, just there. I mean from here it would look like two shitty tables with yeah. not much food on it, but I'm sure it's a lot more <laughs> uh, once we get out there. I, I want to see how, it is. I want to <laughs> see how the Hard Rock Cafe fucked up healthy food this time around. <laughs> <laughs> fucking believing unfucking believable. <laughs> Is it going to be Captain Crunch grilled chicken fucking <laughs> Yeah, it's like great. It's uh grilled chicken. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we put some Captain Crunch on it, and then we... It's like, can I just have grilled chicken? Right. What did they throw on the chicken that time? It wasn't Captain Crunch. It was something else that was uh, potato chips or something. Well, in Philly, when we asked them to find us some healthy food when we were kind of promoting XM before we went back on the radio, yeah, they took us to... Uh, uh, I forgot the name of the joint, but we got chicken salads, and they threw, like, crab fries on them. <laughs> Yeah, you couldn't even fried. get to like the healthy stuff. There were so many fucking fries in this healthy <laughs> salad. Yeah. Uh, well, they're not really known for eating healthy with those cheese steaks. We doing drill dough into break? Yeah. Drill dough was, uh, uh, and still is, a classic bit from this program. Still one of the top five bits we've done since uh, coming to XM three years it's ago. It's genius. Yeah. We love this bit. Uh, guys, uh, whip out your dicks. You're going to enjoy this one. Guy has a uh, reciprocating uh, saw, I think it was, or a drill. No, it was the drill, obviously, drill dough. <laughs> drill with a dildo on it. And he starts working on this girl with this thing, and she uh, hmm. loves it. And the sexiest thing is that uh, pseudo Long Island Jersey accent that the girl has <laughs> when she wants I want more. More. Treat treat me like like a whore. whore. Treat me like a whore. Whore. We eventually saw a picture of her, too. And we're not disappointed. (laughs) Because we like fat pigs. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder what the hell you were thinking. And uh, that... That was uh, going to start something, but remember the guy that came in with his own uh, Juldo contraption? And thank God we tried it out before we were going to uh, try it on a girl. Oh, yeah, it was a reciprocating saw, a sawzall. And he had taken a blade he and just... stuck it in the dildo and, like, uh, epoxied it in there. And we, he shows up, we're like, all right. And we were this close to trying it out on someone. We're like, maybe we should see if this works. It's like, give it a him. test run. <laughs> and we went, Brrr, you know, and, and got it moving. And before we knew it, the blade just popped uh, through the side of the oh, dildo. Man. We'd have just cut her <laughs> womb out. Wow. Yeah. All right. So Hell here's the scene. Hmm. Here's the the famous, uh, the infamous uh, dildo bit hmm. on, as Don King would say, the Opie and Anthony rodeo show. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I want the drill. Oh, please. Should I it on? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I want the whole thing. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh god, it's me with me! Oh my god, it's me with me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh god! Oh my 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 Oh my god. What did I just do to you? Treating me like a whore. How'd I do that? By using the trail on me. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Oh fuck me with it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh Oh my god. Oh fuck me. Oh, 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 oh,
please. You know how wet you are? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh god. Oh, oh yeah. fuck. No. Oh please. Please what? Please fuck me. No. Please fuck me. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think you're done for today. No, please. No. Please just a little more. Just a drill on me a little more. The drill? Yeah, just a little more. I you don't like the drill. No, want the drill. Please. Yeah. yeah. Only one orgasm? Oh, yeah. You promise? Uh-huh, I yeah. promise. Oh, God. Tell me when to turn it on. Oh, God, turn it on, please. Full. Oh, God! Oh, God! Hey, this is Dan Cook. Happy anniversary to O and A. What is it? Three weeks. <laughs> Happy three week anniversary. Presenting the wit and the wisdom of New York City subway vigilante Bernard Getz. Bernard Getz, how you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, um, uh, uh, and okay, okay. Uh, that was rather confused. Uh, and, uh, and was uh, uh. Do you consider yourself more uh, a Democrat or Republican? Uh, neither. Let me. Let me uh, uh, what I'm going to say now. This is just get a hold of yourself. Uh, 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 I'm a little embarrassed. Well, I, th I think. Uh, uh, I think. Hello. And, and, and oh, they're da dangerous too. Uh, yeah, it, it's. But anyway. Uh, uh, oh Jesus Christ! And, and I, I, I. Have you ever asked somebody on the subway for okay. five dollars? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Five shots and they're still alive. Uh, uh, uh just uh, because of the loser. Let me, let me, uh, uh, what, what I'm gonna say now, this is, but, 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 uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Poker chip this motherfucker. <laughs> All right, Bernie. Bernie, let's say a lovable character like Fat Albert asks you for five dollars. Would you shoot him in the chest? Ah. You'd say, hey, 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 you don't look so bad. I, I can, I, oh, no, I, I could have said, I don't recall, but there could have been things like that. Should, should, if, if you're the, if, if uh, hits you on the, uh, the head with a pipe. But, no, Focus, it's not, Bernie. I, I mean, uh, boy, talk about uh, the, the, uh, 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 I, I, you know, we wanted to conduct some type of interview. I, I, well, uh, I, I, uh, uh, but, but, but uh, uh, I'm not, uh, 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 oh. son of a bitch, <laughs> shut up. So, okay, well, we, oh, milk. We can do funny. No, but, oh, well, I, I, don't, I don't really. Any, anyway, there's things that I think that are. You wrong. sure like to talk, Bernie. <laughs> I got to tell you. I, not, well, I'll talk about two separate things. At the same done. time? Okay. Well, I got to thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. Thank well, you. Thank it's been, you. It's, uh, 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 okay. Stay tuned for more Bernard Getz on the Opie and Anthony Show. What a bunch of jerks. <laughs> hey, this is Chuck Liddell from the UFC. Happy anniversary to the Opie and Anthony Show. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Chuck Liddell, yeah. Talking through a broken nose or something. <laughs> did he lose again? Somebody said he lost recently. I can't believe I didn't. He did yeah, lose. Yeah, he did lose again. Oh, man. He's an older guy. It's tough when you're 37, man. You're fucking fighting younger guys. 
Yeah. He's not old, but, I mean, you know, to be in that game, that's a fucking long time. He's an animal. It's Opie and Anthony <laughs> celebrating three years at XM Satellite Radio. These anniversary shows suck, to be yeah. honest with you. It's just a weird thing. <laughs> yeah, because we got old references. High expectations, and then you realize, ah. But the food was really good. I want to thank the Hard Rock Cafe for uh, supplying uh, some fine food today. I'm going to be there Halloween night. Yeah, and why? Ace Freely is playing. Who gives <clears throat> a shit? Oh, I am big. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Ace. Ace? Hmm. I'm obsessed. I know you are. Is it just Ace playing there? Yeah. You're obsessed because you don't have a picture with him. Exactly. That's it. I've never met him. I want to meet him once because he's fucking, you know. So you're going to sit through that awful freaking show of his? Oh, he'll be great. Are you kidding me? He's got, a, he's got a wonderful oh. voice. I love Ace. Uh, there's uh, there's just certain people you, I wouldn't go see. Like Kiss, I would see. Ace Freely, not so That's much. That's the beauty of Ace, man. He's fucking back in the New York groove. How do you not fucking love him? <laughs> and he just sings it like that? Of course he does. No, puts nothing into Why it? Why would he? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ace Freely. Yeah, it'd be like you're 14 again. It'll bring you to tears. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll stand there and just blubber. <laughs> I would sit there for an hour and a half waiting for him to get back in the New York groove. What uh, else is there back. to listen to? Rocket Ride? Don't Why? shock me. Nope. I love a lot of his stuff. No, nope. what is what is that? No, nope. kiss songs. No, shock never, me. Never heard of him, sir. Oh, please, you have. Hmm. All right, you... let's uh, let's go to the phones here and say hi to Striker. Striker, what's up, buddy? Hey, morning, boys. Good hey. morning, Striker. I, I learned that when in Washington D.C., fancy men visit fancy soap stores. Yes, when oh, Hope and I went oh, shopping right. at... Uh, it wasn't just you and I. It was a, just a bunch of guys in the Lush store in Washington, D.C. and Georgetown. Lush. Picking out... Uh, I, I actually got a couple recently when we were in Philly. Those uh, stupid bath balls. Oh. I don't like the bath balls. They fizz <laughs> up when you bath. Where do they go? In That's your a... mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Another gay joke for our show. <laughs> yeah, right you know serious ones I like? I like the sandstone soap. Where it's like a really good lye soap or whatever with the fucking uh, exfoliating thing on top. I, I do Dude, use it. Good for your skin. Uh, okay. The Lush soaps, good presentation, uh, but they suck. They I love work. them. Nah. The bath ball is like a big Alka-Seltzer for your bathtub. If you're if you're one of these guys that is willing to admit that you take baths. Oh, so it's not a physical soap, but like it bubbles up for it's you. It's an actual ball yeah. you drop in and the whole like, you know, bathtub. It fizzes. It fizzes <laughs> around your ball bag. <laughs> There's only one reason to, for a man to take a bath, and that is if you have a, a good-sized tub and a girl's going to be joining you and you're going to be doing something in there. You don't Other like a good bath? I don't think, I no. let's watch my cock just kind of float to the top. No. And then I flick it. It goes <laughs> <down>. <laughs> As a kid, baths were great, but now it's like, why the fuck do I want to sit in my fucking dirty water? Yeah, yeah. Well, It's one thing at your own house, though. Not in a hotel, they get these places in Vegas or whatever, and it's like a nice bubbly thing where everybody else is jizz in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we went to, oh, God, what the fuck was that? Oh, the Tropicana over oh, yeah. in Atlantic City, Hypothetics. which hasn't been upgraded since, like, 1973. <laughs> yeah. And they had a hot tub in there, and... Uh, we get to the room, and I look in, and it's got, like, this digital push-button thing from the 70s. Ugh. Looked like uh, something from the Luna module. And it was just filthy. And I, I said, how many gallons, hundreds of gallons of cum has pumped through <laughs> those jets <laughs> yeah. over the years? Yeah, the bleach isn't from, the smell of bleach isn't from cleaning supplies. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> load after load. Oh, you know it. Our village after village. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, did you get in it? No. <laughs> did you have to ask that? I don't know. Me and my girlfriend oh. did it in Vegas at yeah. Caesars. We actually fucking... I put my mouth over the jet and hit on. <laughs> it was great. Just, just to wash out your mouth. Uh, John from Hoboken. Hoboken. What's up, John? Happy, happy anniversary, boys. Uh, yeah. I wanted to uh, remind you of my fondest memory is Howard's daughter screaming, My vagina, and attempt to get daddy's attention. My vagina. My vagina. Do we have some of these clips? If we reference these uh. clips, we should play these clips. What do you say, E Rock? Yeah, what, please, what before do? you're fired. Oh, uh, Anthony's actually got it? All right, I think John. I got it somewhere. Thanks, Thanks for listening. Boys. I'll have to look. There it is. Yes, here she is. In some kind of play she was doing. She's doing some kind of free form yeah. jazz odyssey. Uh, some play. <laughs> and uh, this is um, Stern's daughter in the play. My vagina. <laughs> my vagina. Saying my vagina. Okay. She went off on a whole thing. My tits, my ass, my, my eyes, vagina. my vagina. My vagina. I've got Allison. 
Alice. Yeah. She's the best friend I could ever have. Is yeah. she? Yeah. How much did she cost you? Uh, let's go to Pete in Staten <laughs> Island. Pete, what's up? Good morning, boys. Happy anniversary. Thank you, sir. I uh, learned that three years ago, uh, if you flubbed up a line, you had to read a verse out of Jimmy's copy of Rain. That's right. Do we still have rent boys? Yeah. Can we get the phones fixed, please? Uh, yeah, Rent Boys. That was a there's a, a magazine with some uh, gentleman on gentleman sex, and if you did something wrong, you were forced to read from it. We had some good audio out of that. We got some great clips of uh, taken out of context. Well, that sounded really funny. Yeah, fuzzy. It was a fuzzy treasure. I, I knew that. Oh. I knew that E Rock was going to be good for the show when he read from Rent Boys. He Absolutely. Gave, when he, he wrote gave for us it. a great, then, a great reading. Then what happened? Then when did you realize that wasn't true? Exactly. <laughs> oh, poor E Rock. Hey, yes, hmm. poor E Rock. Eric, don't look like you couldn't hear Anthony insulting you. You have headphones on. <laughs> Just give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up there. It's October. Uh, we should do a little Rent Boys reading today. Yes. I couldn't agree more. Let's go to Doug in Boston. Doug, what's up? What's up, guys? I got a few. Uh, let's see. I learned that Harlem is full of golfers. Yes. Oh, the golfer thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the first day back, I think, Tugger Woods. I learned that uh, cakes are for stopping. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Are you, waiting for, are, you, are you waiting for applause break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. What, are you, what are you waiting for? Cakes are for stopping, yeah. air is for deadening. <laughs> hey, you know. Maybe just a reaction. Steve has flame boots. Yeah. E-Rock loves mayo. Yeah. Cricket loves it when it steams. <laughs> yes. Very good. And Dragon Wagon is an over the grass and through the pool truck driver. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good See, one. There he goes. He's going back. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, Norm S. Uh, from Ohio. I learned that learning is for queers. Yep. We did learn that this year. Let's say hi to James in New Jersey. James, what's up? Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey. Happy anniversary. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, enough. Thank you. All right. I have learned that. Monster Rain is a very fun game to play when you're a young strapping boy. And that uh, it's not nice to bring shitty poker chips to your uh, friends, Opie and Anthony. Yeah, we need some updates on these people. That was probably the first. I've had many giant laughs on this show, but I think the first. Oh, I mean, like. Hold on, Anthony's getting a call from Ant. a UFO. <laughs> Who is well, it? It's the Nostromo. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Inadvertently dial me. That's <laughs> odd. All right, no big. You like that though? It's that spacey. Nah, I hate it. I hate it. You Thank you, like Jimmy. That? What are we talking about? Uh, poker chips. First massive laugh I had on the show was that fucking day. Uh, that fat girl handed you poker chips and you call threw me. the whole thing onto the Did table and it hit the floor. Who is that? Oh. Oh, because it rang and it was your phone. I think you inadvertently called me on your phone. Just now, and I'm on the air. Hmm. Are you on the air right now? Yeah. Oh, it inadvertently called. I hate that. You know who does that to me all the time? Super Agent Bob Eatman. All right. I love you, <laughs> sweetie pie. I'll see you later. That was the plumber. Hmm. I would have fixed the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, with the poker chip lady. It she was, had, but she was bringing furniture in. She was going to bring us the sofa. We needed the couch. Well, because we had a brand new studio and it, it didn't feel like ours, so we needed a lesbian couch. We wanted to bring back the lesbian yeah. couch. So she thought she had the perfect lesbian couch. Oh, and, right. And she was kind of right in the end because we had a lot of nice uh, things happen on that couch. She brought trinket like gifts. Though. Her gifts were fucking like garage sale gifts. They were awful. And she brought the one, the, 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 the what's it called? The thing that they put the chips like in? It's like the little carousel, the rotisserie, the lazy Susan of poker chips. And they were those, especially in this day and age, that would have been good in like the 70s yeah. or whatever. The red, white, and blue thin plastic poker chips. These days, if you're playing poker, you better have real poker chips that people with some weight to them you could do some chip tricks with it mm -hmm. they're cheap enough now and available where you can get them for your home games so she brings this crappy poker chip set and then starts getting up there and pontificating uh and and, and professing her love for the program and everything and opie just picked up the entire thing of That's poker right chips there it is 
and threw them at her. <laughs> All you heard was a smash of poker chips and hysterical laughter that, that, and cringing. I was so uncomfortable, but it was just so brutal. It was brutal. And a, just a clumsy, angry throw. It was she started so crying. Good. Yeah, she did cry. They had yeah. talk her down afterwards. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, we had to, like, sign She was stuff. humiliated. Calm her down. Here's Dude, a, I, I hope we have that. we have that? Well, I think we have, what, the promo, at least? Yeah, the sweeper. The sweeper? Yeah. Learn to play poker with the Opie and Anthony Show. No. Oh, God. She spilled my chip. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, oh, okay. Clean it up! That's right. Be a poker player, just like your father. <laughs> the Opie I, and Anthony Show. Are you happy now, Opie? Are you happy? <laughs> I would love to hear. I would love to hear just the raw audio. I know. I, I, I can hear myself it. laughing in that, but I remember being standing up, being doubled over against the wall. It was so brutal, and horrified, funny. and in hysterics. Because she was truly the, sad. The video is so yeah. funny. It's on YouTube. It's not the greatest video because uh, we learned to make yeah. better videos since uh, being here. But because uh, they they filmed right into a uh, an open window, so it's kind of hard to see. But what you do see is the camera going around the room, and no one is willing to look at her. No, couldn't look or, or talk on the mic because everyone was just. Couldn't breathe. I uh, hid. That was one of the longest laughs ever. On yeah, this that program. really was. I had to hide behind the uh, equipment over here. Oh. I was horrified to look at her. <laughs> just, it was such a trinket-like gift. She was just trying to be nice, and she got poker chips thrown at her. She was just trying to bring a gift that the show would like. Like, oh, hey, you know the show, you brought some guy gifts. <laughs> right. And was Ugh. just humiliated, like, <laughs> beat it fat, so. Yeah, let's go back to the phones. Mike in Queens. What's up, Mike? <laughs> Get a little fat soda. Yeah. yeah. The thing I learned the most important lesson from your show is never answer the question, which way is north? Oh, yes. beautiful. That's a good one. See, that's old. Let's uh, say hi to Matt in New York. We don't have to explain all these, I hope. No. All right, Matt, what's up? Yo, Matt Heavy. Uh, listen, guys, happy anniversary in the whole nine yards. Uh, John Valby in the Steinway building. <clears throat> God you know what? That's it. one of my favorite yep. bits uh, since coming back to radio. We're, we're talking about there's, there's five or six that stand in my... Stand up in my head or whatever. That's one of them. Yeah, because yeah, but that was the. Great do we have that I short clip? That we had Valby go downstairs and play like you know, he, he he's he's trained. He's classically trained on piano. So we went. Bye guys, later. Bye. So he, we <laughs> let him in that store. <laughs> Sorry to hold you up. Where's he going? He showed up half drunk. <laughs> he showed up half drunk. No piano. <laughs> uh, Danny went downstairs with him, and we talked to the guy at Steinway. Wasn't it Danny? Oh, oh, Eric went down with him. Yeah. Yeah. Eric went down with him. We talked to guys from Steinway. For the rest of the country, Steinway is like just top of the line. It's the Lamborghini of piano places. It's, yeah. yeah, they they sell like five a year, and 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 you know they're all rich because yeah. it's very very wealthy people going there to get that huge piano mm -hmm. for their huge mansion, and yeah. It's, yeah. And so we talked uh, talked them into letting Valby play, and Valby because mm -hmm. he knows his shit is playing some unbelievable stuff, and then Ant and I are on the on this end going, all right, go, go, yeah. in, go into your dirty shit. And the then all of a sudden, gang bang, cunt. I mean, just letting it fly as, as people are shopping in the, in the Steinway. Do we have that audio? Do we have a short clip or how long is it, E? It was done on cell phone, too. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, it was a cell phone. But, yeah, let's uh, take a listen to this. I haven't heard this Because he was bombing because he didn't have his piano up here. Right. So that's why he said to go down and play something. Yeah, we needed a piano. Mm -hmm. And we were like, wait, we're in the Steinway building. Go downstairs. All right, go ahead, E-Rock. That's John Valby doing his thing. Plays very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. he's just warming up. He's ready to go when you want him to. All right. I, oh, my God. Well, how we many? ask a few questions. Yeah. How many people are in the Steinway facility there? Uh, right now, it's um, John, myself, Bob Kelly's here, All right. and uh, just the Steinway uh, piano techs. How many uh, Steinway people are, are there? Uh, one, two, three. All right, three hold on, people hold that on. will be horrified. Hey, <laughs> I hope you've learned in the last three years. Next time, you're like, oh, fuck, it's filled with, f there's customers everywhere, and there's little children, and... There's a retarded kid here. Uh, no. uh, actually, there's uh, no one here. He's pretty much doing this in an empty room. <laughs> no Thank one here. Thanks, E-Rock. I hope you learned. 
paint you the picture. You paint the picture and exaggerate. <laughs> exaggerate. We'll pull down a wall today. No, right. I think that you were telling the truth, actually, and stupid fat neck was lying. <laughs> All right, there you there go. was a lot of people in that store, and fucking shame Eric, who doesn't, his family hates him, won't acknowledge that there were families in there. Didn't you notice how I asked the question, how many people are in there, Iraq? Wink, wink. Like, help out this bitch. Yes. Yeah. And old mumps neck says, well, there's a poster <laughs> of a guy. <laughs> well, there's... There's three guys. They're you know they're just yeah. techs, and they could give a shit. They're they're here, and mm. they don't even believe in piano. So so this bit basically is a waste of time. <laughs> Thank you, E Rock. All right, continue. Yeah, the manager of the place is just standing there with his, like his hands on his hips, giving me this dirty look. Why? Right. Why? I don't know. He's just standing there. The techs are explaining to him, and he's looking at his watch. Are they so all? I think we uh, need to hurry and get hit this done and get out. You better of make this quick, man. Nine. Are right. they pleased with his playing? The what? Are they pleased with the way he plays? Yeah, uh, the tech said he does very good. They just haven't heard his lyrics yet. You know All right. You know what's strange? Uh, Valby looks like he's homeless. He's drunk, and I didn't <laughs> want to say it in front of him, but he smells really bad. Tonight. Like booze. Yeah. All yeah, right. Well, notice that, right? Yeah, well, let's have him. Let's have him play a song. What song uh, should we have him play? Well, uh, uh, well uh, uh, Eric. Yes. Have him really, because I don't think he knows he's on the air. Have him jam one of his, uh, you know, legit things. Okay. They might toss him soon, man. First song you do, do something really legit just so... Just for, as a right quick warm-up. Okay. Make quick. sure he doesn't go too long. Okay. Little boogie boogie. <laughs> This is going to be great when Eric gets kicked out, because he will. Oh, of course. This is where it's going to get really uncomfortable. I was out on a date in my daddy's car. I picked her up in a Manhattan bar. I finger fucked her clip. She didn't let out a beat. I had my cock in her throat, too. I was humping her face. My pecker started to spit. The doctor said the bitch had an epileptic fish. <laughs> where, oh, where can my pecker be? The bitch bit in right off of me. <laughs> Here a stand with two balls and a stump. That <laughs> XB, my pecker, when you take your next dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we don't get the ending? You've got to get the reaction, right? E-Rock, what? <laughs> one more, one more. Can you do one more quick? Just one more? Uh, one more? Just one quick one? Oh. Can you just do one quick one? Like a 30-second one? Kick him out of there. Okay, yeah, don't allow him to do one more. All right. All right, one more. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, right. Live from the Steinway facility. Blow chops and hand chops and eating clitoris. <laughs> Watching your grandmother douche with laborious. Brown pubic cunt hairs and toilet bowl rings. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> Popping one blisters in the balls of my ass that <laughs> Taking a shit in my New York Yankees hat. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a pig. And you still didn't give me the ending where you guys were kicked out. <clears throat> All right, well, you get the point. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, in the... Uh, very classy Steinway building. Yes. Let's say hi to Mark in Minnesota. Mark, what's up, buddy? Hey there, O and A. How you doing? All right. Hey, are you from Fargo? No, uh, north of Minnesota. Eh? Minnesota. What the heck do you mean? I learned. Hey, it's my dear Wade. <laughs> <laughs> These are sweet numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Just love that goddamn yeah. movie. <laughs> he gets so screwed. Up. Oh, yeah. He got fucked oh, on yeah, that deal. Yeah, it's a so it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's a Radisson, so it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so you married really old so son of a uh, Gunderson. Oh, yeah. hold, hold on, hold on, Mark. Son of a Gunderson. I love you married old son of a Gunderson. <laughs> I love Fargo it's a great shit. movie. <laughs> I have a little shakeable globe that somebody sent me, and it's got the wood chipper scene at the end. Oh, great. <laughs> I can't throw it out. I have to keep it. Oh, Buscem yeah. Buscemi's great, too, when the cop pulls him over and he thinks he's being all smooth. I was thinking we could take care of it right here in Brainerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right here. And he gives him the wallet with the money hanging out. Would you step out of your vehicle?
vehicle, please, sir. And the other guy just, the monster just leans over and blows his head off. Yeah. I want pancakes, house. You're a real super lady. <laughs> I, I watched that movie recently and I told Lindsay that it was a comedy. And yeah. halfway through it, she goes, What the? F I'm like, This is funny. Yeah. There's some of the most gruesome scenes ever, but this is a funny story. There. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that, he was funny looking. So you were with the funny looking one. <laughs> yeah. He's, when he's shoving the whole leg in the wood chipper and the blood mist is flying yeah, on the yeah, other side. Great. Oh my God, is that great? With the sneaker on it. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Shot me in the face. These are yeah. some sweet numbers. <laughs> oh, oh, they screw me out of that deal. So what are you looking for for a finder's fee? <laughs> finder's fee? I don't. Oh. <laughs> and, and knock on the door. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Crawling out the window. Ah! He's fleeing the interview. He's fleeing the interview. <laughs> Oh, gosh darn it, we count our cars here. <laughs> gosh darn it. You might want to go for the undercoating. <laughs> God, i got to see that again. It's been a oh, while. it's great. It's such a great movie, man. It really is. Uh, yeah. Mark, sorry, and I know uh, Fargo's not in Minnesota, yeah. by the way. No, yeah, hey, I learned that Opa has good aim with this squeeze bottle of mustard from the fourth, fifth, or sixth floor, or whatever it is there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, remember that? Man, we lucked out on that one. That, uh, you got a caring, and uh, I'm getting a little echo. Yeah, the phones suck. I don't know what's As going always. on. I'll pull the Hiroshima with the, uh, <laughs> with the mustard that day. <laughs> well, that Direct hit. I was going after toothpick guy. Yeah. We were trying to wreck uh, toothpick guys, David Letterman uh, uh, artwork, I guess. Yep. Hmm. And then he ran out of here with his artwork, and I we opened up the window, and I tried to shoot him from uh, above with mustard. And I, mustard, mustard falls probably slower than other stuff, doesn't it? Well, he wasn't able to get a good lead on him because he missed the guy <laughs> and hit an Asian gentleman that was walking out. No, walking into the building. <laughs> walking works, in, yeah. He works in the building, and he couldn't understand why he was covered with mustard. Yellow or brown? <laughs> oh, yellow, man. Oh, yellow yeah. mustard. <laughs> oh boy! How do you drop mustard on women and children? <laughs> you just don't lead them as much. <laughs> uh, let's go to Doug the trucker. <laughs> Doug, what's up? Hey, hi guys, how you doing? Welcome hi aboard, guys. Doug. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one of the things I learned over the past three years is that you do not send uh, used power tools to a fancy man. From your lips to God's ears. Mmm, I do remember. In a fancy world. Sorry for all the background noise. I just been opening a box. I got a, a, another gift. Where status is everything. Well, thanks, Andy from Seattle. He uh, he sent me a used drill. One man. I'm an entertainer. A fancy man. Do you understand? There's a fancy entertainer talking. We'll begin a quest for the ultimate gift. Fuck you. The Drill Diva. Anybody have anything lighter, like maybe a fucking bowling ball with two lead shoes? When a regular gift is out of reach. How about just some pictures of vaginas and some pornography? Right. And the gift he gets is unacceptable. For your deeds, you should have a cordless drill in your house. Well, come on, what do you want? I want a new drill. Dude, you don't appreciate shit. Huh? I want a cordless fancy drill, boy. The Drill Diva took my breath away, says Eric Nagel. Think about how I feel, hoping I have a new cordless Cordless gift and seeing that cumbersome cord. And Ben from Boston raves, wah ha ha ha, dude, dude. You want me, me, plugging a cord in like you have to? You've <laughs> never seen a spoiled red hissy fit like this. You don't deserve to sit there. Shut your understand. dumb Italian mouth, I'm talking, boy. The Drill Diva, coming soon. Jimmy, you're a doc. Fuck you and fuck your mother, what do you think of them apples? <laughs> oh. I, God damn, I love some of those. <laughs> oh, no yeah. kidding. By the way, at 11 o'clock, it's E-Rock Radio in honor of E-Rocktober. No shit. From 11 to 12, you're taking a request for our third year anniversary. That's right. Wow. Totally I love Because there's a lot of this shit I these can't. people want to hear today. Why can't Why? you? Because I have to go pick up my mom at the train station today. What? So, well, tell her to fucking meet the guy at the train station and then go to Queens like the other girl did. <laughs> Dude, are you shitting me? No, I'm dead serious. Get her a car service. Why don't you get your mama your Car service. We, we need not... you for E Rock Radio today. You know how much car service is? How much? I'm sure it's cheap enough where Opie would certainly flip the bill. Uh, let's go <laughs> to the phones. <laughs> I'm not paying for it. Me well, neither. Tell your mother to put her thumbs out and meet you here. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. thumb a ride.
Well, we're going to keep the... Uh, well, we could uh, give Than and Sam a, a shot. Absolutely. Just wow. totally gut this audience for the Ron and Fish show to come on to a fresh, clean slate. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Than... I mean the show. You, <laughs> Than and Sam will keep the channel alive until Ron and Fez, but Seven. you can't do Than and Sam. you got to just take requests. That's fine. Wow. All right. I bet they're going to fall into just... Doing Than and Sam, Than and Salmon, as we call so, it. it. You I, know, if they're sitting around and they start uh, jawing, yeah, yeah, I think it's just going to get into the ha-has. And, and, and for the listeners, you know, request the, the, the shorter stuff today. So yes. He's squeezing a lot of stuff from 11 to 12. Those little, like, I haven't heard that bit we just played in a really long time. Yes. Maybe we play it when we're on vacation. I don't know. I haven't heard that. So that type of thing, the smaller stuff, not the long involved 15, 20 minute right. bits. All right, hey, let's say hi to Penis uh, Wrinkle. Penis Wrinkle? Hey. What's up? Hey, how you guys doing? Hi. Good. I learned that Jimmy is a fuckface and Opie is a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Very wow, good, buddy. Yeah. Let's go to Kim in Georgetown. Kim. All right, thank you. Kim? What was my only uh, contribution to that? Kim. Holy I, shit. I said holy shit? Yes. Yeah. So, holy shit. Uh, I want to just uh, thank Eric ahead of time for uh, stopping by and hanging with us today. <laughs> yeah, I and know. I hope I hope you didn't wait too long. You didn't wait at all, what right? What do you mean? Uh, no, I just want to make sure that you're okay. It's all good, right? I'm fine, yeah. I'm thrilled, <laughs> I'm thrilled to be <laughs> you, here. You, you came over to XM. I came to XM. And we got you right in. You took me right in the studio. And I, I want to make sure I thank you before uh, before the show's over. Yeah. So thanks for stopping by. Your first visit on the opening. It does no, tend to cause a little tension. Uh, between Opie and Jimmy, <laughs> if Jimmy's friend comics are intended to immediately. Oh my God! More, Come on. more than and, just a little no, tension, and, and and they need to be given the proper thank you, right? Or else no, they you will guys argue, been... and I will feel like I'm back home with mommy and daddy. <laughs> me, me and Opie had an argument on the air. It's that's 2004. And uh, it was, was that long? Or, ago? Or 2005. It really was a long. It was uh, April of 2005. Oh, uh, Lulu. And April. Uh, hold on, sir. You, you just keep talking while we babble. Shut it the was, fuck up. It was April of 2005. <laughs> it was actually about three days before I taped my half hour. And uh, Anthony, it was it was took him right back to his awful childhood. Oh, I just pictured my daddy throwing the spaghetti against the wall and it running and hitting the phone. Oh. Uh, the yelling. The, the uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> I couldn't say anything to make it stop. Oh, so I just sat and cried like I'd I did I'd never seen him shut down like that. He was really, he was, I've never seen him that. What was I going to say? Did you mistreat the comic though, Opie? No, it was, it was, nah, I, I, I always think I was being hypersensitive. Ask Jimmy. It was just one of those sure things. Sure did. It was Ope, just one of was a fucking prick to the comic, and Jimmy was a fucking prissy prima donna. No, I, I And Go. <laughs> we should both now attack Anthony. <laughs> nice hat, shit, Dick. I would just go like, no, stop. Okay, you're right. Hey, uh, <laughs> so I argue. Hey, you're right. I'm an ass. Or every time you start winning an argument, just pull out spaghetti and it just shuts you down. Yeah. <laughs> and a phone, uh, but cell phone, even. <laughs> Moving along it. here. Uh, fuck it, a. It's Big A, everybody. Big A. Hey, hey fucking a. a. It's Big, Big a. a. What's up, Big A? Oh yeah, I wanted to call in. You know, do wish, you know, wish you guys. You know, uh, Big A, why don't you, Big A, Drew, Big A, why don't you just wish us a, a happy fourth anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Big A, Big A. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ah, there he is. Um, so I wanted to call in, wish you guys a happy. Third anniversary, <laughs> and also the first clip uh, ever uh, played was Dylan. Oh, yeah, the we, first sound clip was Dylan. That was the Dylan. only one we had on our yeah. first day. Yeah, yeah. we uh, we've been through quite a few sound clips. We had here. to rebuild from scratch. Uh, Big A, thank yeah. you. Jeez. Okay, oh, two. All right. Bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Uh, Brian from Jersey. What's the matter, Billy? Fishing don't it grab anymore. you. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Dylan! Yeah, it is. Dylan! <laughs> Stupid Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> Stop it! Stop whining! <laughs> Shut up! Quiet. Uh, we're running out of show here. Brian in Jersey, I learned uh, don't order bikini teeny when first meeting the girlfriend's family. Yeah. This Thanks. year, the drink of choice was the uh, the Magic Marlin. 
The magic marlin. And it came in a little marlin cup. Ooh. Sounds Ooh. nice. Just in case you're uh, like keeping, the fish. keeping track at home. <laughs> yeah. We went back to the bar this uh, this past summer when we were in the Outer Banks, and the whole family wanted bikini teenies in memory of the time I uh, ordered the bikini teeny. Did they exist anymore? Sweet. No. New owners of the place, and they got rid of the fucking oh, bikini cool. teeny. They said, fuck the bikini teeny. So I'm sure everyone in the family said, fuck this, let's just go home. Oh, uh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. They found a replacement. Our, uh, and then another. It's true. And then another. It was beer, and sterno, cologne, <laughs> anything. That's one thing about uh, me and uh, your fiance. Um, our families are very similar. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. Very similar families. <laughs> That's true. They're, they all remind me of Nicolas Cage and leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that uh, yeah, that wedding's gonna be a uh, oh, quite, that's gonna be whoa. a hoot. Screw getting my family together with hers. It's uh, getting her family together with your family oh, I know. at a wedding. It's just going to be, uh, d don't even say open bar. <laughs> We're going to have to get a designated conductor. <laughs> Fucking 250 people on a train back to New York. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. Oh, uh, Danny from Jersey. I learned that O and A are worth at least $1.99 a month. They used to have to pay extra for the shit. Perhaps more than that. Mm. Tom B. from Maryland. This was one of my favorites, and if we have this clip, it would be great. Uh, I learned Jimmy's ass can elicit a response from Anthony. Oh, oh yes. Do we have that? Yeah, give us a sec. All right. Oh, uh, if, if Poe is still here, this is very important. Tell him not to get my truck. Leave it where it is. Ooh. Why? What happened? Leave it where it is. What, what are you doing? I'm staying in town tonight. Why? Why? How come? Karaoke, baby. Huh? Where? We're taking tomorrow off. No! Oh, my God. That's why I'm staying in town. All right, taking them off. I need to live a life. You'll be fine. Hmm. I'll be fun. fine. Believe me. Be in bed by tell nine. Him, yeah, tell him. Don't, leave need the, the truck, truck where it truck. is. No, truck. I don't need the truck. Shut up. Oh, I'm Jimmy. trying to help him. Jimmy, shut up. I don't know. I'm very confused. <laughs> Uh, I'm already out front. Yeah, he, I think he might be. Uh, no! Well, just tell him to drive it home. We'll drive it home. No! All right. <laughs> Take his truck home. He asked if uh, if I wanted my uh, Mustang brought up well, to the building uh, oh, no. yesterday. Well, let me just ask Bob Kelly from the Caveman Show. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> no, it's a fine visual. Wow. I know, I know. It's for six people. Oh, It was worth oh. it, though. We got the clip. Uh, it's a it's a bit, not the actual audio of Ant. Don't correct, Don't All right, it'll oh, be good okay. enough. Let's hear it. It's quick. For some patients, the ability to communicate is not an option. Look over and be like some 80-year-old woman with her legs spread. But one man is about to change their lives. Forever. Did someone say something? For the terminally ill who live in darkness. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? Dr. Anthony Cumia who said that? has found a way to bring light to their remaining days on Earth. Your ass talked to me. <laughs> Using a rare gift he never knew he had. Oh my God, what have I done? He'll learn to love those he never knew existed. <laughs> I think I know what you're going for. You're going for sexy, you're coming off as whiny. Oh, and a picture. <laughs> what a hot voice that is. And depends undergarments I love it present a true story you're an ass of one man's inability to distinguish a voice from a fart you're talking out your ass the ass whisperer coming soon no, stop it. to the Opie and Anthony show <laughs> that's funny, man. Yeah, that's based on... Uh, the day I, uh, Jimmy farted, and, and I, I, said, I answered him. I, said, I what? thought this... somebody said something. <laughs> his, his, his fart actually sounded like a word, and I went, what? And someone said, and no one was like, fast enough. So everybody was like, I didn't say anything. I go, what was that? Somebody talked. And Jimmy goes, I farted. <laughs> Is talking to your asshole. That's almost as bad as the time I said to my girlfriend, I love you, and she didn't hear me. And she goes, did you fart? Oh. I'm like, no, you <laughs> fucking castrating <laughs> awful human. I said, I love you. And she wasn't being ironic. She really thought I kind of gassed her. <laughs> fucking stab her. Uh, let's see. Mike learned that the Greg and Tony show has Dr. Norton with sex advice. Wow. Fuck. Uh, Greg and Tony. 
Very good. I wow, that goes that. back too. That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> the jingle Suck request. My fucking cock. We should get that bit going. That again. was great. We need brand new jingles for the Opie and Anthony show, just like the the two yeah. you just heard. <laughs> that Greg and Tony show on fucking haunts me. Yeah. Uh, Greg, the Tony show, Greg. Tony show. It is creepy. That's oh, great. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go to Josh and Philly. Josh, go Phillies, hey, baby, go Phillies. Happy anniversary, guys. Oh. First of all, I learned Opie is a destroyer. All right. Yes. Ed Asner, yeah. One when, of my worst moments on the show. This city, <laughs> with, Opie and the, with Opie and Mayor Spade, I mean, Street was screwed. Jeez. Oh, oh, it's the bell. It's An bell. Anthony's playing poker. Why is this show so painful for you, Jimmy? Well, we were playing, Anthony's playing poker. We're all in California at the poker tournament, and there's a lot of celebrities there. So we interviewed uh, Jennifer Tilly. We had a bunch of them coming over while Ant's in the poker tournament. Me, Open, Joe Rogan. And Ed Asner was there. From fucking Mary Tyler Moore, and uh, well, like you know, he's a legend. The guy's a legend. Yeah. So we get him on the air. We're Ooh. talking to him, and Opus kind of firing little snide remarks at him, and I'm like, just trying to. I'm like the fucking codependent wife. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> just, just fucking covering up. And then Ben, our old producer, comes over, right? Yeah, right right right. and he gesticulates somehow. And uh, and 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 uh, Ed Asner goes, well, what did he say? And Opus goes, oh, that's the signal. That he gives when a, a guest has to go because they're boring. <laughs> wow. And oh, my fuck, shit. there was no covering it up. There was no amount no. of laughing I could do or go. Yeah, no, he just means there was. It was impossible oh, to misinterpret. Oh. And it was. And and I think Ed Asner said he said goodbye to me and Rogan, and he said, "Opie, you're a destroyer." <laughs> he was fucking not you're happy. A destroyer wow. of all good things. He was wow. really miserable. Oh, that he was is a miserable a man. legend. Oh, he's, Did you uh, want to hurt his feelings? Or oh yeah, yeah. How really? could you not? By saying what? There's nothing that could have been except yeah. just hurt the old man. I was wow. so fucking mortified. Because I get frustrated. Like we're in the middle of like trying to do a, a, a show for a lot of people and he's giving us nothing yeah. but he's Ed Asner and then you're getting all irritated and like god damn it say something that people care about and then I, I finally couldn't help myself anymore <laughs> it really was <laughs> even Rogan was uncomfortable <laughs> yeah let's go to uh, Keith the trucker Keith yeah hey guys hey, hey. Yeah, I learned that uh, Edmund Fitzgerald is a really long fucking song <laughs> Yeah, we ripped this one apart for uh, oh my God. about an hour and a half one day. <laughs> you know what's interesting about the radio show? That we were having, I remember that day like it was yesterday, because we were having a, an awful radio show. Nothing was working. The chemistry sucked. People were tired. Colin Quinn came in, and he was having an off day, and he usually gives us good radio. And I remember going, holy shit, let's just get the get this show over with and start over tomorrow. And then the fucking Edmund Fitzgerald uh, bit happened. Yeah. On a day that was probably one of the worst shows we've done since coming back. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> I remember, it, I, I, it's very rare I'll, I'll leave thinking we had a really bad show that day. I'm like, fuck, we sucked so bad today. But I don't remember that anymore for the most part because of the, the famous bit. Yeah, and now I remember, because uh, Colin, did, I remember he came in. And it was real early. He decided to come in, and we were all getting nothing. And he came back the next day, and we all had great shows. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because he goes to me that night. He goes, "The show has changed, man. The vibe." I'm like, "No, no. We were all tired. It man. was something. Was it was his first time back since we had been here from yeah. AW. It was. Yeah, we were so off. But except for that bit that turned into gold. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Jim from uh, Philly. I learned that bums who play guitar will not stop. Fiddling with their amps, oh, twist, that, turn, twist, yeah. turn, make it all better, make it I all better. To smack him. Uh, every it was a nervous twist. Every time this, we had a homeless guy play guitar, and I every time, guy. what was his name again? Fuck it, Tommy, Tommy Rock. Tommy Rock. Bur Papa, Papa, Burden. Papa, Papa Rock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, the, his name is now a number and it's on his toe. <laughs> he was uh, a homeless guy on a guitar. <laughs> And his address is Potter's Field. <laughs> <laughs> in the fucking orange crate with his little shins broken to save space. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and he would uh, he would play his guitar. And he had that nervous thing where he would fiddle with it and try to get the sound box working. Yeah, oh, and yeah, we man. couldn't get him to play anything. We're terrible. going to play a song already. And he's like, okay, okay, bling, bling, bling. And he'd start playing a couple of things and then just start fiddling with knobs. Because his equipment was uh. fucked up. We have, we have any of that? No, nah, that'll really that's that's a oh, long one. Okay. That'd be tough to get to right now. Uh, JP from work. I learned Iraq can win one hundred thousand dollars by stealing the staff newspaper, but Opie will still leave him behind at the Rolling Stones concert. <laughs> oh wow, that's a good one. Yeah, Iraq got ditched. Uh, somebody from New York City. High five and faggot. Learned that Lady Di will fuck a homeless bum for booze. Mm. Wow. Todd from South Carolina. I learned what the fuck donkey sausage is. Fun. Donkey sausage. I saw her, by the way, last time I was in L.A. Everywhere you go, she pops up. Yeah. Uh, Corinne, yeah, I saw her when I was checking, when I was doing Timberlake, checked in the hotel, and she's standing there in the fucking hotel doorway. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing happen? this now. She's doing some weird gig. What's she doing? I don't remember. It was like, you know, event planning or some... She's fucking, she's, she's an odd girl. She does turn up everywhere, though. Oh, I'd love to fuck her in the mouth. <laughs> I really would. She's a Spanish girl. She has great lips. I'd love to give her mouth a good, <laughs> solid fuck. Should we play that? We haven't played the donkey sausage clip in a while. Basically, it's a girl that uh, shits on a plate and puts it in a microwave. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't play that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to Todd in D.C. Todd, what's up? Yeah, I learned that the boys get shirts. Oh my! Don't make a fucking maniac out of me. The boys get shirts. We did that for about two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. Who was that again? That was Paul Anka. Paul, An Paul Anka getting all pissed it, yeah, off Paul at his uh, his band, right, right. his little orchestra. Which one do you have? Don't make a fucking maniac out of me. We can't play both. You want to play Paul Anka or Donkey? Paul Anka. I'd rather have Paul right, Anka. Paul Anka, let's yeah. go. Paul Anka rules. You thought you thought eight things tonight. You're on fucking notice, John. I gave you a list. You had half a list that I gave you with shoes and everything on it. Okay? The guys get shirts. Don't make a fucking maniac out of me. The guys get shirts. Do you understand? We're not going to be as strong as our weakest link. The guys get shirts. That was <laughs> just getting yelled at by Paul Anka. <laughs> he was screaming at his band, and it was uh, tech just kept the tape rolling or whatever in the studio. Yep, wow. good for him. How great is that? And he's just yelling about everything. They're fucking. Pr they don't sound good. They're not practicing, and uh, he just goes on and on and on, berating every guy in his band. That's just the fucking way it is. Yeah, his Paul Anka speech. Very clipped. It's real old school, right? Oh yeah. yeah. You gotta be. He wants to be like Sinatra, you know, exactly. just yelling at his guys <laughs> and they and thinking that they're gonna sit and and respect him. But meanwhile, they just if that guy yells at you like that and walks out the door, everyone is just going, "Fucking cocksucking yeah. prick." They're not like, you know, he's right, guys. We gotta give him the respect he's due. Shut up, <laughs> shorty. What did he write? My way. He My way, yeah. Tonight Show theme. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Wrote that oh, did he really? Yeah. He wrote a lot of stuff, man. I don't know a lot of shit I'm starting yeah. to notice. Yes. Paul you know Anka. a lot of things. <laughs> Times of Your Life, the Kodak theme. Oh, he wrote that. Paul Anka. Do you remember? remember yeah, he writes a bunch of shit, and everyone else sang it. Yeah. Let's go to Thank Michelle you. in Buffalo. Michelle. Yeah, Chris Christopherson. <laughs> Bobby but, McGee. That's a good song. <laughs> Excuse me, miss? I'm sorry. I'm a fairly new listener, but I've learned that... Anthony knows a little bit about a lot. I learned Opie mispronounces everything, and Jimmy's a silly goose. Wow. Thank you, man. And you've only been listening a short time? <laughs> That's all there is to learn. I didn't, I didn't like mine. It was hurtful. <laughs> it was hurtful. <laughs> mine was hurtful. Yeah. She started tuning in this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a new listener. I turned on at fucking 8.30. <laughs> oh, oh, you are a cunt of the hash. <laughs> uh, thank you, Michelle. Uh, Jim in Florida. Jim. Yeah. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, hey uh, I learned something from Opie. The Chinese are coming. Well, he's been preaching that for quite a while. And, and, and I have a fun fact related to it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. There is only one time zone in China. Ew, really? Only what? One, uh, one time zone. Uh, and now he's listening impossible. to himself. Uh, someone learned that Opie likes to hold hands with, uh, with men. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> no reaction? Is that true? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, you grabbed uh, Danny's hand, right? Leaving Shea, oh, wow, leaving I Shea Stadium. Oh, wow, I forgot about that. 
I went to a, a Mets that. game with my my girlfriend, who's now my fiance. Yeah, fiance. Your fiance. Word is just. Yeah. And we had a great time, and uh, you know they squeeze the people in those seats, so we go single file up the row. And I reach behind me, and I, I turn too, and I grab her hand, and we're walking out, and I'm feeling really good, you know, love this girl and all yeah. that, and just had a lovely time at Shea. And all of a sudden, there was an old switcheroo that happened. I just thought she was handing me her other hand. Oh, this is why I love this uh, this broad, this girl. Uh, she switched with Danny, who was also at the game, and I walked out of Shea Stadium holding Danny's hand, thinking that I was holding well, my hot girlfriend's make you hand. Make you a bad person. <laughs> Does your girlfriend have he heavy hair, heavy meaty hooks? Yeah, that, you think I should have <laughs> yeah, yeah, recognized the difference? Ham handed. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, God. Surprised you didn't tell because Danny had a bottle in his. <laughs> 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 Fucking algae. <laughs> Uh, John from L.A. Uh, I learned that Opie wishing you good luck is the kiss of death. I learned that the best callers are from Yellowstone. Mm. And I learned that Ant is a fan of the era. Or Just era. a fan of the era. I'm not a Nazi. Uh, G-Baby from FBA. I learned that Rana Fez got a golden ticket and no one else did. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. We were Although we've given out little bits of golden tickets to uh, well, the original, quite a few people. The original uh, plan was to get two channels. Yeah. And it was going to be uh, us on one, and then we were going to fill up the other channel with a bunch of people. With a bunch of shit. And then it was going to be uh, us and Ron and Fez on one, and then and then a bunch of people on the other, and then it just became just us and Ron and Fez. Uh, Mike T. from Jersey. Noah, the intern, uh, got in. Oh, this guy learned. Oh, my God. I forgot all about this one. Uh, this guy learned. Noah, the intern, got in one weekend what Lil Jimmy would have paid $3,000 for, and he paid nothing. Oh, hey, man. That stripper from Cleveland. Yep. Yeah, remember him? He sh uh, a porn star. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did do porn. One of our interns yeah. that Jimmy really liked at the time. Uh, started going out with our intern instead of Jimmy. A porn star, yeah, yeah. She was a Cleveland, she, had a, she was a sexy girl. And this intern, uh, I was going to pay to fuck her. It was like a thousand. I was going to pay. I don't know if I would have paid a thousand. I was trying to get her to give me a discount. She did private sex. Because you got your own show here. Yeah, I was like, you know, kind of help, help me out. She's a fucking cunt. And uh, she wound up fucking the intern for free. Oh, and then they dated for like uh, they do everything for a free month or so. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, and they got nothing, and then, and then she never got mentioned again. So I hope your fucking porn career ended with a self-inflicted gunshot wound, Dorothy Stratton. <laughs> <laughs> fucking it really annoyed me and hurt my feelings. Yeah. Turn bullet for free. Yeah, I would I would have paid if she. I would have felt sexy if she just gave me some money off. Like she said, I'll do it for five hundred, but she couldn't come see me because she had to fuck the intern for free. <laughs> yep. Oh. That is a slap in the face, Jim. I hope I hope an air conditioning unit fell off and hit her right in the clit. <laughs> <laughs> I just tore <laughs> tore her clit down to her kneecap. <laughs> Let's see a couple more here. Uh, Fast Freddy learned that fat is a planet. Bob Kelly likes to fuck sinks. Dude, Bob Kelly. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Baloney tits from Canada <laughs> learned that retards shit gum and pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Fast Freddy from Jamaica Station. We learned Bill Burr's Grammy still drives and takes thick black cock in all three holes. Wow. <laughs> uh, Jeff from um, uh, Ohio. He learned treat yourself. <laughs> Did that one already? Did that one already? The educational show today. If you're a uh, well, you're a fan that's listened listen for a while. Let's say hi to Chris and PA. Chris, what's up? I learned that if Opie asks you what you like about the show. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Don't give away the band. Uh, Greg, Chicago. Hey, how you guys doing? Happy anniversary. Good evening. Hey, I, uh, I've learned just because O and A have discovered you doesn't mean you have to reach stardom if you're Grey Wolf. Wait, what? Just because O and A discovered you, you don't have to reach stardom if you're Grey Wolf. I mean, yeah, we had that. that Grey Wolf. Yes. yes, sir, we no, do. we remember Grey Wolf. I'm trying to... <laughs> no, refresh us. <laughs> right, thank Gosh, you, uh, you guys discovered him. I thought we he was... got it. Right. <laughs> All right, my God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, half a Hulk face is here. You want to say hi before Yeah, we, we got to say hi to him. All right, James F. from Stanford. I learned that Tony Danza likes to get blowjobs from Rubes. Wow, <laughs> nice good. hand motion there, Dan. <laughs> yep. Holy shit, I caught that one. What's the signal for bringing the deformed <laughs> mongoloid? <laughs> where, uh, where, oh. where's the mic? No Sorry. disrespect. Over the, I gotta get a. Uh, is he sitting over by the couch area? Yeah. Ian from All Philly. Right. Uh, 
learned Blorka, Blorka, Blorka. Uh, John from Denver. This is Frankie Blue. Come back tomorrow. Oh, oh. fuck. And we're going to pick the winner. Then we're going to fuck the winner. <laughs> Great pick. Congrats, uh, boy. Yeah. That's a good one. Who Paul's big man hands? Yeah. You reckon, you reckon Frankie uh -huh. Blue. Uh, John from Jersey. I learned E-Rock can mimic a hawk. Steinway has no sense of humor. Neither does Danza. Opie's apartment had leaks. Anthony can't turn down music and his girl's caddy. Java logs smell like coffee. Sexiest state was actually PA. And Bernard gets is nuts. With that, we say hi to half a whole. I got to pee while you guys. I, I'm 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 paying. I'm back what? I, I have to go. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Jimmy, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> and there is hi half a whole face. How are you, sir? What's up, fellas? How are you guys doing? <laughs> Very Jimmy good. Looks great, man. You know, I'm impressed. I can actually spend money on you guys. Too bad we can't say the same for your face. Oh. <laughs> You know, with the money that was spent in the studio, probably could have uh, maybe made, look like made George look like, Clooney. <laughs> yeah, probably a superstar. So. Uh, now you said that the, you, you were going to be having some surgery. I'm going. The only reason why the surgery got postponed was because my medical insurance got all screwed up, so I had to go see more doctors. So yeah. I go see another doctor tomorrow, and that should clear everything up for the surgeon to schedule the surgery. Right. Jay Leno? Yeah, that's um, a lot of you people have said. Yeah. So, looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to this weekend, celebrating another screwed up birthday, so. Oh, Jesus. How old are you? Uh, I'll be 33. 33? Isn't, a, isn't every birthday at this point a great birthday? Every year. Think about that. Yeah, you would think that would be bit. a good thing. Oh, it's always a good thing. I'm, I'm so not, excited, can't wait. Gonna I need to hang know why, uh, why the choice of uh, haircut. Um, prison look. I'd go with... Um, Very long hair. I'd go with an emo look. Yeah, it's... I'd yes. grow my hair long and cover <laughs> half of my face with it in the emo fashion. <laughs> Tried a long hair look, didn't like it, so just well, but everything everyone else off. did. Didn't like <laughs> okay, it. Yeah. yeah. That's like... There's no just taking some duct tape and and putting it on your cheek and pulling up because it's kind of everything's falling like your ear is even lower now than it was last time. Yeah, you know, but nothing I could really do about it. No, so huh? I just, you know, bear with it. Someday you're going to have to lift your arm up to here. So you well, can sit here yeah, in his <laughs> armpit. You know, the, uh, I can barely hear the right ear now. So what? I can barely hear out of the right ear now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Old Pee Wee Herman joke. <laughs> Awful. Your calves are looking good, though. I gotta say that. You're yeah. Fucking. You're a walk walker. Ah, uh, they're just more tumors. No. <laughs> Jesus. No. <laughs> so you're scheduled though to see a doctor and yeah. maybe get more uh, surgeries. Yeah. All right. Have you had Hopefully surgery already? Huh? Have you had surgery already? I've had about nine since I was a kid. No, no, not God. implants. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a any hope of uh, getting rid of that? Um, no. No. Why can't they fix that? No. Realistically, no. Um, they should be able to. Because it, it, it will grow back. You eventually. know, I've seen uh, little kids from other countries. Uh, they drag them over here uh, and, and they fix them up. Well, Why can't we fix our own people? Well, where the Thank tumor you. started at, it's located at the back of the head near the brain. Yeah. And it's basically working its way forward and down toward the throat. So From the brain to your throat? Well, oh. it, it, the back of the head. Will right. it grow you back? Know. Why will it grow back? Um, that's one of the things about the tumor. They don't know why they grow back. It's got a chia tumor. It just won't <laughs> stop. Stop watering it. <laughs> yeah. Look at his forehead sweating as we interrogate him under the lights. So. <laughs> Wait, so you, you, how, how long did it take to get to this point? Um, last major surgery I had was, what, 14 years ago? See, so you should have it removed, and then even if it grows back, eh, how old will you be? Yeah, just you know. marry a chick, and it'll be 14 years before she realizes the horrible error she made. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you'll have a couple of kids, you'll be on your way. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. He always looks like he's telling a secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God, Jimmy. <laughs> telling a secret. Fucked up. Oh. He always looks like he's going, Psst, you really fucked me to God. Hey. <laughs> 
waiting for Homer Simpson. <laughs> what well, your mother doesn't know. <laughs> Beat it. You know what I like about Half Hulk Face? He's got a sense of humor. Finally. Sure, he does. Yeah. Well, he we used you know, to make fun of him, and you look like you were going to kill somebody. Now you kind of let the laughs roll off. It's you. making fun with him. Yes. yes, he's here. We understand, and he's a cool guy. Like on on. On the outside, a lot of people don't get to know you because they see you and think, oh, my God, there must be something wrong with him. Uh, but, you know, the guy's like a regular guy. He's got a regular head on his shoulder. Well, okay, <laughs> I don't want to use that expression. But I want to say, you know, your, your, your mind is a completely normal. You're a regular guy. Sure. You like what regular guys like. Hanging out, drinking, making fun of... People's affliction, afflictions, affliction, affliction, affliction. I am fucking up by the number. <laughs> no, you sound like him. <laughs> well, he knows we like him too. It's like when you first start yeah. hanging out, you know, you think people just shit on you, but you know, you know that we yeah. all, yeah. we all like you while we're on the air. And... All right, just sit there. We all have our crosses to oh, bear. Oh, question. Thank you, oh yeah. We had uh, hmm. ONA traveling virus. Uh, a friend of mine went to one of you guys' shows and. Some people were walking around with my, you know, my face on their T-shirts. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're so not, not going to get any money for that. They were printing out, like, uh, somebody printed your face on T-shirts and was selling them? Um, he said he saw a few people walking around wow. and, with my face on their shirt, so. Wow. Kind of scary. Yeah, just a tad. Yeah. It's scary. like the fucking... Uh, the Shroud of Turin melting. <laughs> <laughs> or a bad screen print job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone smudged every single shirt. Oh, yeah. By the way, that wasn't your picture. That, that was for advertisers. I was for the movie Scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, CM Mark sorry, I from Whack Bag. I learned that for less than the price of a pack of cigarettes, you, you too could get a picture with half a Hulk face. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, someone from their cell phone. Big Dan from New Orleans. I learned it's pronounced. Bonadouche. 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 Uh, Joey from Howard Beach. In the past three years, I learned that Jimmy Robinson hates Jimmy Norton. Mm -hmm. Doing a speed round here. Crisco from Grand Rapids. Uh, we learned Karen Meyer's ears are as useless as little bowls full of candy at a diabetic's house. That's Bill right. from Waterford. Uh, uh, wow. Holy, holy uh, shit. Uh, no, I just, I just saw something. What happened? You just put like your you just like scratched your ear. Well, have a whole no, face. because you know where is your actual ear canal where you hear from? Right here. It's there. Yeah. What? All right. What were you like poking? Well, because every now and then, since the tumor it puts pressure on on the ear canal, I kind of had to like raise my ear to hear on the right side. <laughs> oh, so so like what's that other hole to the top? What? That? Yeah, that. Oh, I saw that, you that's just part of the air. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God that's a big okay. ear. I saw you poking in there. I thought you were going to pull out a Buick. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hood, Hood E from Philly. I learned that Fez is part of the homeless challenge. Actually, he is the face of it. Dude, we're close to a homeless shopping spree. Yeah, already. coming up. we got to start bringing up some uh, new homeless people. Tate from Virginia. What I've learned is that the pendulum is swinging back the other way. <laughs> Foundry. All oh, right. Oh, uh, pendulum. CM Mark from Whack Bag. I learned that one of those keys opens the door to his dreams. <laughs> this is the one I vaguely remember. This one's Bill, Bill Burr. Burr. Mm. Bill Burr. Which one? Um, when you were doing sidewalk fishing. Oh, <laughs> my God. I, sidewalk one fishing. One of the many bits that have been taken away from us in the last yeah. three years. Yeah, here's the other one. Box o Cox. That's Box o Cox. Troy from Maine, I learned that you do not get opium milk from Dwayne Reed. Yes. That's uh, an old one. <laughs> uh, this guy from Richmond, I learned that Anthony would rather give Mad Cow a good show topic than call him out. <laughs> I know. Oh. I went to make a prank phone call here on the air to Man Cow, uh -huh. and uh, his screener gets me and says, okay, when you get on the air with him, first tell him that um, you love his show. Love him. Lo yeah, yeah love, love, love Say, Man Cow, love you, love the show. The screener actually tells you to say that as a caller. Love you, love the show. And then uh, just get to your topic and whatever. So I figured I'd get to the topic at hand, and then in the middle of it, just blast him, start bashing him, whatever. So I get to a good topic. And, and I'm talking about it, and I guess I got caught up in the topic, and I didn't bash him. 
Uh, so he kind of hung up on me and continued talking, and all I wound up giving him was a great subject to talk about and a good, <laughs> and a good call. Probably. Better radio than he's ever had. I was a good caller. <laughs> it probably gave him an, an hour of radio after you hung I up. I wouldn't doubt he used it as a promo right. that night. <laughs> Jimmy's Dignity Ass from Wag I Bag. I learned that uh, a thrown chocolate-covered strawberry almost caused a lawsuit. Yep. Another awkward moment for the boys. Gay boy's shoe. Oh, jeez. We had an intern. <laughs> Otto. Yeah. We had an intern uh, that used to dress in, like, $1,000 suits and really, like, ridiculously nice, like, dress shoes. A yeah, rich kid. Just a rich oh, yeah. kid. And that's why I threw it. People think I threw it. I threw it because of the other thing, and that's not true. Oh, threw it because he was a boy I, of privilege. I uh. hated his richness. <laughs> yeah. And so we had chocolate strawberries one day, and I picked one up, and I asked to see his shoes. I'm like, wow, what kind of shoes are those? And he's all proud. He wants to tell us what his shoes hmm. are. Like go, Bruno Mali's Bruno expensive Mali's. shoes. And I just took the chocolate strawberry. Blah! Good for you. <laughs> right against the shoe. It was so, it was so awkward, because then he had to lower his shoe with strawberry on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst part, is that his shoe had to be brought back down with chocolate and strawberry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cigars and Scotch is wondering why uh, the um, Pal Talk cam is streaming the Black Hole Sun video. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even understand the reference, but it was funny. <laughs> They're saying it looks like uh, half a Hulk <laughs> face. Black Hole Sun video? Is oh, that okay. the, uh, Morphing and... Just... <laughs> is that the event horizon? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a good one. A black hole sun. Let's say hi to Rob on Long Island. Is he saying that, that oh, I, I, I leave someone's implying that half a Hulk face looks like a movie poster about Hunter S. Thompson? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, very good. Uh, Rob, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Yeah, I learned that if you work in a supermarket and don't ride a motorcycle, all you're going to be stuck with is fucking a girl with the Jay Leno chin. That's a very good one. Punching out, boys. Hmm. All right, time for line of the day, and we'll get out of here. Otto and George at uh, Caroline's tonight at ten o'clock. We're keeping the channel live until Ron and Fez, Dan and Sam are going to take more of your requests for some of those uh, bits you haven't heard in a while. The the, the short versions, the and, short ones. And tonight, Otto is the host. He's a weird show. He's got Rick Shapiro, some other really good uh, comedians. It's two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. And this Saturday, uh, Eric is with uh, other a really funny comedian, Pat Patty Rossborough, and. Uh, Al Ducharme and Lenny Marcus, and they're, uh, where's, the, where's the place in uh, Tarrytown? Tarrytown Music Hall. Uh, Four Sides of 40 is the name of the show. Yeah, it's like... Six o'clock, eight o'clock Saturday night. And you can go to Ticketmaster and get tickets or, or, or call the actual theater. Yeah. I know this is a weird show to be in for you guys because it's like a three-year anniversary <laughs> oh, I mean, show. So. I'm yeah. catching up on all my things that I've missed in the open. Yeah, Anthony see? Show. Yeah, <laughs> it's a catch-up show. <laughs> so if you're, if you're in Tarrytown Saturday, go check that out because it's actually a really good show. All yes. right. Uh, Indeed. Line of the Day brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. Free life scoring stats, bios, and news that will help you win big this season in fantasy football. Just go to BulldogFantasy.net. Check it out, okay? Roy, here's a runner-up line of the day. Oh, yeah. I wanted to call in. You know, I do wish, you know, wish you guys. You know, uh, Big A, why don't you? Big A, Drew. Big A. Why don't you just wish us a, a happy fourth anniversary? <laughs> 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 That definitely deserved it. A uh, little fumble. That was funny. It. Here's another runner-up line of the day. Sect to me, would you get it done? No, I, I'd sooner drop a storm window on my ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Hey. <laughs> that does conjure up an image of pain there. i gotta, yeah, got to be honest heavy. with you. Storm yeah. windows are kind of heavy. Crunch. Next time, try without the salty language. <laughs> Have a whole... <laughs> you want to promote where your operation's going to be? Or? Uh, it's going to be at uh, Best Israel. Yeah. Okay. When? Anything else you want to promote? Allow me to show you my operation. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that from? I don't know. I think it was... Um, Kentucky Fried Movie or something. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Was was uh, was Big League Chew baseball player face done? <laughs> you want to promote him? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> oh, you're terrible, man. Yes, I love him, man. He's a good guy. Oh, hey, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, uh... How a 1950s <laughs> nightclub comic that sound? He knows I love him. I'm kidding, right, I golly? I love him. <laughs> I'm fucking La Mata. You hockey puck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I won't bring you bums around. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, say hi to John in New York. Uh, John, what did you learn on the Opie and Anthony show? In the past three years, I learned who bought the house next door. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, we certainly know. <laughs> yeah. House next That's door crazy. to me. <laughs> Went into a little panic there. Uh, a final runner-up line of the day. Getting my family together with hers. It's uh, getting her family together with your family oh, I know. at a wedding. She's going to be uh, 
D- don't even say open bar. <laughs> We're going to have to get a designated conductor. <laughs> Fucking 250 people on a train back to New York. <laughs> How amazing that the all the lines came from the last six minutes of the program. Oh, of course. <laughs> wow. That's harder to do. <laughs> there better be a Don King in here. I would hope so. Oh, boy. Hmm. I think there's trouble. Dan? Uh, uh, no, no. So, how's mother? <laughs> uh, still don't know. <laughs> Here's your line of the day. Here, here comes the line of the day. Line of the day. You know, we're talking about fighters here. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Did you see the pictures? <laughs> <laughs> He's just smiling. We, we just shut up, Don King. Wow. Dumb <laughs> bitch. Oh, oh wow. God. You what? screwed up the out. Who made, Who did that? Who, whose fault? Who do you think? <laughs> 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 what do you think? E-Rock stamp on it. E-Rock-tober, yeah. E-Rock-tober. Oh, E-Rock. Why, why'd you do that, Eric? I didn't do it on purpose. No, 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 yeah, no. I how did you do it? But what happened? It's set automatically to, to play right after this file. Oh. And why didn't it play automatically? <laughs> it played, but the audio didn't come up. I don't know. The audio didn't come up by itself, or no. someone didn't put it up? No, it's all on the same channel. So. All right, so why didn't the audio come up? You got me. I hope your mother's Amtrak comes through the wall like Silver Street. <laughs> right, let's go home. And I hope when you say she's on a train, that means there's a black guy in her mouth and one in her ass. <laughs> <laughs> a new line of the day. <laughs> oh! I want to say hi to my mother who's listening today. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck, that's great. You're awful. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Uh, the channel stays live, though, with Dan and Sam taking some of your shorter uh, Opie and Anthony clips that we you haven't heard in a while. All requests until 12, right? Sure. So do a short break and come right back. Okay. Dan and Sam next, uh, playing some best of. See you tomorrow. Other people. Hey, guys, thanks for the support the last yes. three years. We greatly appreciate it. Yep. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Bye.